Yeah, 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 yeah. Testing, testing. Testing one two. Check, check, check. Okay. Testing one two. Yeah. Yeah, you on camera? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. You get all that? <laughs> Without respect. That? Yeah. yeah, everybody in. Yeah, oh, yeah, shit. yeah. Pat, let me get a mic check. What's going on? What's the thing check, for the day? Check, 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 check. We didn't tell you, but we gonna rob you. No. <laughs> <laughs> Since my nigga Pat is running off with these NFTs, <laughs> ski masked up. <laughs> Since he, here, God. since he out here hitting NFT licks, <laughs> I figured I'd go ski mask for a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, let's oh, get it cracking. Let's get it wide open first, and then uh, so we can get as much content with Shane before he has yes, to go. Yes, sir. Hey, uh, Pat, do you mind give me a mic check, too, though? You probably want to raise that up, too. Yeah, it's raise it up low. a little bit, too, yeah. Oh, the, no, the clicker. Uh-huh. The, oh, gotcha. Yup, 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 yup. It's a snap. Yeah, right there. Bow. There you go. Yeah, I like that. That's better. Check. Mike check. One, two. What is this? Santana's back to business. All right. All right. Y'all ready? Yeah. Yeah. here. Welcome. 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 To the Three Oak Podcast, where even the artists can be fans. AJ the Menace. Shane M. Petty. And Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> the third. And we got Leon Gamble in the building as well, too. Always, always here. Welcome. And we have a special guest, you know what I'm saying? A special guest in the building. The uh, the <laughs> Mr. The Mr. Runoff on the plug himself. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker, mother effing. <laughs> Pat Jr. is in the building, y'all. Everybody breathe. <sighs> Yes, sir. Oh, damn, the NFT broke. We haven't done that in a while. <laughs> but we haven't had an interview in a while. We've just been that's like, because this is what yeah. I always originally wanted to do. Because that's another thing that I've always heard from like radio hosts, Charlemagne and stuff. They were like, if people are only tuning in for your guests, when what happens when you have no guests? Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, you right. Know, like you can't mm-hmm. you can't develop a podcast. You shouldn't develop a podcast. Just about guests. Just Some about people guests. do, and that's completely fine, but, but you gotta have something. But that's yeah. a, they, have a they, baseline. Yeah, you gotta yeah. they gotta be there for use at the end of the day, or your people that you yeah. put together. Yeah. You know that's what I'm saying? That's a conversation yeah. we all had because you brought it up uh, during that time and you were like, We need just need to cultivate like an actual Yeah, that's why it's like no shade to else. That's why it's like no shade to uh, any of the people that's always wanted to do interviews with us and people who still are asking for interviews and stuff. Mm. Now, we are going to open the interviews you're, up more You're not often. cool enough. I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to open the interviews up more, but we'll actually probably do that separate from here because if you're coming on here, then you're somebody that can just join the regular show. And it's perfect that you're coming because you're a homie. And for weeks, every time NFTs come up, we're literally like, bro, we have to get somebody who knows what the fuck an NFT oh, is. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, we always... Yeah. Remember when I hit you up about that? I was yeah. like, do you know somebody who can really explain NFTs really well? Because I wanted to talk to them. I yeah, wanted to yeah. bring them in on the podcast because... Mm. What did I say to you? You said that you knew a couple people, but none of them were in the state. Okay. That was the biggest thing. You were saying none of them were really in the state. Mm. But uh, but How it kind of... How long ago was that? This was at least a month and a half, two months ago. Okay. It was a nice little minute ago. Because NFTs have always I was still come learning. Up. Yeah, I was still learning. And you were still kind of learning, yeah. but pff, you didn't. You didn't figure it out though, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you didn't it out, though, right. Since then. So let's bit, go ahead and yeah. post a screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? As y'all can see, my man is out running up the bag. Rex. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Rex. Hey, shout out to Rex. Oh my god. 100 yes. percent pure yeah. uncut. Rex. Damn, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna insert that in here. Yeah. I was meaning to find that because <laughs> Rax will go viral. He's such a oh character. yeah, bro. He's he's got to make it. But uh, first of all, welcome for coming back. Because hey, I think the last yeah. time you came, when was the last time you that came? was when the last time it wasn't I, the review, wasn't it? No, of your sh- it was something else after that. It was uh around when the protests were going on and we were that's just, right, that's right. This was like maybe like a week or two after Nance came by. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's right. Because we we all went to the protest together. Yep, we did. And then, oh, we, yeah. did, and then okay. we did a podcast after it because yep. that was our first time going to yeah. a protest. So in yep. the midst of 2020? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Yep. Midst of 2020. I think so. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. 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 So it's been since then. It's been a little Two bit, years. man. So yeah, yeah fill, fill us in because I know the people remember you. So fill us in a little bit. Actually, the last time you were on our platform, though, was for Gold Fangs on Sunday. Yes. yes. So you yes. were on the platform for Gold Fangs on yes. Sunday. We did the live, yeah, live listen show yes, over there. So that was the last time they saw you. That joint was fun, man. That was fun. Fun, bro. That was fun, and we definitely gonna get back into doing the live streaming because yeah, the live streaming is yeah. goes stupid. We haven't done that in a while. Either. Yeah, it yeah, goes stupid. Cool. It, but yeah. I, I'm planning on a live show because we're coming up on episode 200. Yeah, mm. so we did our 150th episode. <laughs> 
live stream mm. because the venues were closed. That was in the midst yeah, of COVID. That was, yeah. Yep. Yep. But now that it's open back up, we can go back live again. Yeah. So nice, yeah, we man. definitely gonna do that. So since Goldfangs on Sunday, what you been up to then? Man, I dropped Goldfangs on Sunday reprise. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, which is an extension of that project and it's it's three tracks. Beauty in the tears. Uh, yeah, so you got mm-hmm. Beauty in the Tears, uh Could God. Everybody keeps saying it wrong. Like it's could God. Like when you say could God, like Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Niggas saying yeah, niggas is saying like cooed. And I'm like, bro, it's not like But that. you know what though? That's actually perfect opportunity to make a bunch of reels about too, because like Absolutely. You, can, you know what I'm saying? Like it's like no, bro, like it can easily he, turn funny, like but you hear it on the hook, like it says You hear the way God. you say it. Like mm-hmm. stop, bro. Good God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's the the verse that's on there is the the verse that went viral when I was in Chicago. Oh, mm-hmm. gotcha, gotcha. So gotcha. I just, when you yeah. when you when you when you did that freestyle. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Snap it. So shout out to my thank you, bro. Just going viral Appreciate casually. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Going viral. Shout out yeah, to the internet. Yeah, yeah, you know when I went viral, I was in Chicago. <laughs> yeah. I, was in, I was in Chicago, casually networking with you know the important people. Yeah. Uh, so I did caught a couple hundred thousand views real quick on, on on Twitter. Something Everybody like, like it's COVID. I, I caught yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know. some you know something. Yeah, like you know what I got? Yeah. Stumbled upon <laughs> stumbled upon a few <laughs> hundred thousand. Right, right. Oh, what's this? <laughs> man, little man, song, I just woke man. up to text and shit. I didn't even know. You know? <laughs> right, right. Some light, man. Um, but no, that was so. I just made that into an actual Record. song, and then Suede and Sunny Miles is on that one. Okay. And then, of course, the first track, like, I made an actual track called Go Fangs on Sunday. So right. Just three songs, like, to extend the life of the project. Because, like, right, I think right. now, I think one thing that independent artists are kind of, like, not doing is they're not, like, giving the, the project or EP, whatever they drop, longevity. Like, you got to have... You got to stretch the, you know, the content for the project, like yeah. to keep putting it in front of people's faces, you know. And even though we understand some people are creative and they're fast in their creation, you can't let cuz there's plenty of artists who we wouldn't know about if they didn't work that one single for a year to right. two yep. years. Right. And that was it. Yeah, they were making music the whole time, but they were pushing one song. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that is a that is that's a yeah. real thing. And it's hard to do too cuz it puts your creativity on. How do I make? How do I have one song and make five to ten to fifteen to twenty different versions of right. pieces of content? To content that that'll link them back to that. That don't get boring. Boring to me. Yeah, or repetitive. Shout out to Wonder. Wonder's been doing great with that. Yes, He's been he pushing has. F yes, with you has. for since October, I think. Yeah, I need to get my TikTok in real bad, man. I think before I switch over because I, I shot three visuals for each of the songs in the reprise. So okay, like visualizers. Yeah. Like, okay, gotcha. Like you. so, I I need to like do a little bit more on Beauty and the Tears before I switch. But yeah, like I I mean I've been talking about Gold Fangs on Sunday since it dropped. You know. What yeah. I mean? And when was that? When was that? That was Gold July Fangs? last year. Gotcha. Okay. So yeah. So I just yeah I just been and that's that was the goal intentionally. Like yeah. When we got to the year anniversary, it's not like. Hey man, remember a year ago I put out like right, nah, nigga. Right. I was just talking about this last week. Like right, you know right, I mean? right, right. So that's the goal. And then like literally, like my plan after that is to do a hard switch. Maybe wait a couple months and then start doing some newer music. So, but uh, I mean, since then I did. You know, I've dropped a reprise. I've got more. Um, I got more content coming out for, you know, the music. Yeah. But then I started fucking around with this this Web3 shit. You know what I'm saying? And... <laughs> <laughs> cash. <laughs> Digital cash. No, man, um... Turn so, to USD. You know, I've been... <laughs> <laughs> Give me that USD. Give me that USD. Yeah, you know, I've been... All that is cool, but what's that USD? Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, I've been talking to you about... Yeah. Cryptocurrency and all that for at least a year. Yeah, which it just it was so hard for me to grasp the concept oh, of. It. Man, this is the thing, bro. <laughs> this is the thing because okay, first of all, NFT. Okay, I've gr- I've fully grasped the concept of cryptocurrency. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So cool, I'm cool. I'm past that point. Like at first, cryptocurrency, it ma- it always made complete sense. But I think the thing with me was how long before this is really a. Uh, 
this is a um, and like international like currency. Viable yeah, currency, how long like, is this? How long until we're like debit credit? Well, no, cash, it's actually crypto. crypto. You know what I'm saying? No, it's, like, it's happening. It is happening, and yeah. like there's things that I'm noticing that, are, <laughs> and this is I've been hearing about crypto for several years, but like heavier in the last two years. But I'm gonna tell you what locked it in for me personally mm-hmm. when I was starting to be like. Okay, crypto is a real thing. When I started seeing them ATMs popping up in gas stations, yep. yeah, okay. yeah. Once I started seeing, have you seen those Bitcoin no. ATMs, bro? Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, like once I started seeing there. that, I was like, you oh, can they turn got this ATMs into real for this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This yeah. is real. Now yeah. this is real to yeah. me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that's when it really started like feeling more real. And that's the that's what I was. That's what I always was wondering. When is it gonna feel real? And the ATM mm-hmm. feels real. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I, there's a lot of adoption happening. Like in other countries, like especially recently awesome. with the war, because um, usually, like, because I'm, you know, I've been studying the shit, man, and like one thing that I found out with, uh, with the U.S. like, like building sanctions in Russia, right? Mm-hmm. To like, it's, I feel like I feel like the war is le- is gonna legitimize cryptocurrency. That's mm-hmm. what's happening. Yeah, I so figured like, that. So yeah. like during what's been crazy is like because of the sanctions, like a lot of the you know Russian people that don't want anything to do what no the people the civilians that don't want anything to do with this shit, like they haven't been able like to really buy stuff or like you know purchase anything that they need yeah so they've just taken their money out of banks and they put it into crypto and the shit started like Jumping. at first it yeah it went down um but Pretty then it usual. started but yeah but then it started going back up and then the same thing with ukrainians like that's what's happening there <clears throat> they've taken their money out of banks yep. and they put it into bitcoin mm. you know and so but mm. now what let me tell you this shit this was crazy so um, Bitcoin also went up, which it this this shit can kind of make you feel a little guilty. Yeah. So a few weeks before Russia decided to invade Ukraine, I don't feel guilty, but continue. they made <laughs> no, no, no. Let's check this out. They made <laughs> this nigga man, man. They made Russia announce like maybe like. Two or three weeks before they like the news came out that they was going to invade, they made Bitcoin legal tender mm. yes, because they, they knew that the U.S. would get involved with yep with sanctions. sanctions. They, they knew, they knew it was weren't about to be worth shit. Yeah. So he was already yeah. like Putin was already like a few steps ahead. Bro, and Putin is playing chess out here, yeah, bro. So, <laughs> and I was just like, when I saw the war happen, and then U.S. was like, yeah, you know, um, you know, we going, you know, as far as like using sanctions or whatever, or whatever. Like, like Bitcoin started going up, <laughs> and it was because of Russia. Like they were taking their money, their government was taking their money and putting it into Bitcoin. Yep. Mm. So yeah, man, it's it's uh. I knew I we put a I put a post out mm-hmm. a couple weeks ago where I was like, I'm about to put some ban, I'm about to put a ban in some crypto because y'all think Putin out here not thinking ten steps ahead, bro. And all these sanctions, you don't think he realized that, <laughs> right? Come on yeah, now, like, yeah, yeah. like that's why it was like I'm watching like Biden up there talk big shit. Like yeah. we finna run in there. You, he talking big. He talking like the energy he has when he was talking about the sanctions they're putting on is the energy that you would expect somebody sending some troops in. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. And in my mind, I'm like, yo, you talking real big. Yeah. Like, bro, I don't have a backup plan. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, bro, like, it's, yeah, it's crazy, but, um, we're placing severe sanctions. Right. Okay. Like, you think he didn't yeah. think about that already? Yeah. It's American. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah bro. Like, come um, on, dog. That's, yeah. that's cool and all, but I'm sure there's a backup plan. It's, it's, yeah. It gets deep, but I'm not going to get into it. Yeah. Anyway, like, so, I mean, I mean, other than, Ukraine and Russia, you got El Salvador, you got like other places making Bitcoin legal tender, which is good. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Sooner than later, because now banks and biz, like bigger corporations are buying into crypto, like now, like it's been happening recently. That's why I've been jumping back up. Mm-hmm. Um, they're saying like within the next few years that you could. Essentially, what's going to happen is you, you're going to start being able to pay your mortgage. With, That's with, what I'm saying, yeah. Like, with Bitcoin. Yeah. Like, so, it's it's happening. Okay, so, real quick, for NFT idiots, like, we need, like, third grade language, too, on top yeah, of this. Yeah. Because 
we're are only we're only right now talking about Bitcoin, and I understand that is the largest cryptocurrency. Right. It's just the most right. popular, yeah. 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 But at the same yeah. time, there's a bunch of other crypto. There's right. a bunch Dogecoin, of other, right. Dogecoin. So Ethereum. Dogecoin is what got me into cryptocurrency. Like it's a meme coin, right? Right. It, it has some utility now, <clears throat> but it it got me into cryptocurrency. But what does meme coin even mean? I don't even know. What that Literally means. a meme. Like it, is, yeah. it has no like. It's kind of like it's kind of like uh, Shiba, right? Like Shiba. Yeah, when Doge came yeah. out, it had no utility. Like it was used for nothing. It was just a joke. Right. Hmm. Like and it, and it turned into a community of people, and then Elon started backing it, and then now he's gonna start using it, like making it for actual like utility. But where you can buy a Tesla with Doge, exactly with Dogecoin. stuff like that. Yeah. But um, but yeah, Pretty so much debit credit check, crypto. yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, but my question is, I don't know if you know the answer uh -huh. to this. Is we get to the point? Say we get to the point where it's debit credit check, crypto. Is is it going to be debit credit check, or Mastercard, Visa, crypto, or Bitcoin in particular? Bitcoin. It's, Okay, see, that's my thing. Because and that's, and that's another thing that I'm wondering, Bitcoin. too. So what's going to happen to all... You got all these other coins, but I've only seen Bitcoin ATMs. You see what I'm saying? Right. No, but here's the thing. Bitcoin is the number one, like, cryptocurrency. So we can it, call... We, we can look at Bitcoin like USDA and cryptocurrency. No. Like, United States... But no. it has that status to it. In the, in the crypto it's world, it's very close. Yeah, it's almost. I'm talking like only in, in, the, in the crypto. Currently. In the crypto, no. Really? Uh, There's something because, more powerful. Because no, I mean, oh. it's not. So they have a USD stable coin. It's not mm -hmm. stable, but oh. the fundamentals are very, very, very strong. Gotcha. Because like U.S. dollars are backed by gold. Yes. Yes. Or they should be. Essentially, right. yeah. They should quote be. Unquote, in, 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 yeah. Quote unquote. In, in, in quotes. Yeah. yeah. Right. Because because otherwise you're just printing money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but what is Bitcoin? So what is Bitcoin backed then? There's no backing. No. Exactly. But the it's, 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 backed, it's backed by the faith of the people. Exactly. It's, it's, it's backed, backed by, by faith. It's like it's we're, we're by putting faith. value yeah. on it. Yeah, it's yes. backed by faith. And I mean, it, and it has utility. It has utility. <laughs> it's <just> so crazy. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm right? saying? Yeah. It has yeah. utility. Like it has yeah, a bunch I mean, of utility, but it's it's like, yes, yeah, it's, it's backed by people. Like I mean, that's the hardest thing for people to wrap their mind around because. It's backed by people, but like the people IOUs are putting money <laughs> that is... Not. But it's <laughs> the thing. It's like it's backed by people, but the people that are putting money into it to give it a stronger backing are using currency that's backed by the gold. Right. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it kind of still goes back to being backed by gold, but it seems like a there's a... You just see what I'm saying? Based yeah. off there's the a dollar. double, triple, and quadruple value on it all of a sudden because it's not when you copy of a copy, copy of a copy right of a copy. now the yeah the original for, copy is long it's faded by now <laughs> right yeah it's like it's but like it's, once you put it into this crypto world it's like i get the multiply but it's, by but 10 it's, but it's also like it's not just the usd it's other dollars from other places that can be you right. know used to purchase yeah, right. you know what i'm saying so it's not it's a currency true, exchange. True. Yeah, it's all not just around. us dollars yeah, yeah. it's every yeah. country yeah. it's whatever yeah. so it's like makes sense like if you could go to europe or, yeah. or wherever, and you can use Bitcoin instead of have to exchange your U.S. dollars for yeah. for pounds yeah. or whatever. Gotcha. I guess that's kind of a cool. So idea. It, it's essentially the, the first international. It's a world currency. Like, yeah, world like a currency. world currency. And I think that's what they're trying to create yeah. is a world currency. Gotcha. So like, people have been afraid of a new this world for order years. Like especially like conspiracy theories. They, yeah. They've been com yeah. saying like, oh, dollars, money is it's going to be all gone. And, but yeah. of course, you know, people use cryptocurrency for like black market shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I was going to say sure, also yeah. that's, that's it, yeah. that was kind of the, yeah. the origins of Pat, it. Wasn't isn't it? there some sort of conspiracy going on about the the actual like origins of whether or not oh boy is the it is what's, man. What's, what's Who, that about? I mean, I don't know a whole Who? lot about it. Who was oh boy? Uh, my fault. Yeah, uh, the yeah. like the person. What's his name? The guy who's supposed to start it. I, it's like a, a, a uh, it's it's an Asian name. I don't know the guy's oh. name. Oh, uh, yeah, Asian I guy. know. I know he's talking about. Yeah, the guy who's supposed to be right the founder now. of crypto and um I the blockchain yeah. and all that. I but yeah. I, so but Bitcoin like a, is like right now. I think it's at like forty something. Uh, it's at forty four, forty five. Yeah, but okay. the all time high was like seventy thousand. So one Bitcoin is like seventy thousand dollars. Um, yes. U.S. U.S. dollars, which, yeah. is, <laughs> which is crazy. If you can exchange um, it. Yeah, the mining days are over too, right? I remember no. The, no, they have mine? to mine. They have no choice but to mine. They have no day. Like, chi mean, like China has All right, explain mining times. then. Mining is a... That's... I don't have a. I don't the, have the, the, a, the NFT in the so, crypto so world. Is so, so, okay. So mining, it's just a foreign is, exchange. Yeah. Mining is digital mining to like... 
It's weird. It bro. almost sounds like stealing bits and pieces of everybody's Bitcoin. No, it's that's like, what it sounds like. It's like creating a like a piece of Bitcoin in a sense. Printing money. It's like printing money. Yeah. Printing money. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but like, it takes a lot of energy to do. Like you had like there are miners that have servers and servers and servers. Bro, oh, like, yeah, I've heard the, that. the crazy computer set yeah. up. And so that's why yeah. China. Yeah, I've heard like they've had gr- like this garage would be full of servers and China mining has banned for- mining. In their country, like several times, because it takes so much energy. Energy, right? Damn, because yeah. there's like server farms. So what it is? So like, okay, so the more okay. Bitcoin becomes popular, there's just going to be more server farms mm. because for every Bitcoin, there has to be like a piece of memory. That's all it is. Yeah. It's some memory on someone's drive, someone's server somewhere that has to sit in a server farm. Mm-hmm. So for every like like mining Bitcoin means that you just are mining. You're creating. You're building server farms. And that's the basically. that's the thing that I'm trying to understand. It's with just Bitcoin information keeps like, mm. um. How many different spaces, like actual real live spaces, do there have to be to like continually support this infrastructure? Because mm. there still has to be servers and things in place in order for all the shit to run yes. and flow smoothly, right? Yeah. So like, can this really be completely backed by humans without any like government interference ever? Okay, so no, no the, they they no, the pull government. Up. So no, they're the gonna have to. Right? Has, the government is first of all, the government. They they're in Bitcoin, bro. I know that they don't. They, they, they kind of talk about it, but not talk about it. But they are just recently Biden put out an executive order to do research on it, right? Like and that. and yeah. it was also more so like it wasn't a bad like he wasn't trying to crack down on it. Yeah. Um. But the government is talking about having they they want to put some regulations in the market. Number one because. At any moment, like last year, there was a really bad crash. And I think I told y'all about it. Like like Car a accident? bunch of whales. No, no like, like Bitcoin crash. crash. No, oh, Bitcoin crash. It dove. Mm-hmm. Like it went from like 50 to like $30,000. Yeah. $30,000. Uh, $30, but also, the thing is with Bitcoin, when Bitcoin goes down, everything else goes down too. Oh, gotcha. So Bitcoin is like... The Literally the powerhouse. Of, yeah, the powerhouse. All. It's tied to dollars. Well, they right. all they yeah. all kind of move in the synchronicity almost, right? Sometimes. Sometimes. Like I, I feel like the tech, like the tech stock market, like as that plummets, Bitcoin kind of plummets. Yeah. And very true. Which makes sense. Gotcha. Yeah. But you like, need real dollars to buy with them. With Bitcoin, all the other like cryptocurrencies, if it goes if it Dodge dies, Ethereum and all Yeah, that. so like what happened is like a bunch of whales got together. To dump Bitcoin, like they just sold it off. Yep. In order for it to crash, and then, but what happened was they sold it off, right? Um, but they it's called FUD, so it's fear, uncertainty, and doubt. So what they did was they started selling off to make everybody else sell off. And oh so yeah, what, yeah, yeah. So, so but then yeah. they do that. So they, they do that can, on purpose. So same with the stock market. In. So they can get at the low. Dangerous. But yeah, with, same, stock, same with, with the fear. stock market, it's regulated. It's regulated, yes. right? So, so you yes. can't. Everybody can't pull out at one time. Well, it's illegal. It's illegal yes, to do that. Yeah. Cryptocurrency is the wild, wild west, bro. Right, right. Mm. and that's what makes me nervous. So it's like we've gone back to the west. It's the gold rush. However, the digital west. With the executive, with the executive order, Biden is essentially like going to pass regulations to stop that from happening as much which is a good thing for Just Bitcoin. so it can stabilize cryptocurrency and the government and of course wants to have their own stable coin in bitcoin so mm. i mean not in bitcoin but in cryptocurrency gotcha. right so but so like in order to so okay cool like i had to understand cryptocurrency before getting into nfts so the second because there's there are other cryptocurrencies that um, um, that have a blockchain where NFTs live on, yeah. but Ethereum is the most popular one, and Ethereum right. is the second, you know, the number <coughs> two ranked crypto like, cryptocurrency, like you know, what I'm saying right behind Bitcoin. Gotcha. Um, and Ethereum, it it does multiple things, but essentially, like, uh, it's a it's like a tra- like. A transfer coin in a sense so like it's essentially when you want to move something around on the blockchain right for nfts or whatever the case is or even like exchanging coins it costs gas mm. like that's what they call it yeah gotcha. but it's also tied but is, to isn't also like real gas like yeah. it's tied to real gas yes. though energy yeah oh like it's real energy, energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay so yeah 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, was, I know, I know, man. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, <laughs> not fuel, but like okay. energy. Energy. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, was yeah, yeah, I was like, like <laughs> damn, I can't pull my car. Yeah, yeah, what's, what's going on? Standing over here, like. What? But you have right to. Now. But you have to. In order for a currency to be taken seriously, which to is be, why to be used, you have to back it with something. Yeah, gotcha. Okay. Whether that be energy, whether that be gold, yeah, yeah. I mean, whatever. You yeah. have to back but, it with but something. Because money tangible. is already back. So that gold. energy right. just kind of circles back to the servers and all that. Yeah. Is that essentially what it is? Essentially, yeah. Okay, okay. Essentially. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. So it's right. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I guess essentially, yeah. So here's I'm, I'm good with my debit card, man. So right. yeah. Yeah. But here's Let me the, pay for this. So, well, I mean, I don't know, bro, because I'm going to keep it a bean, like, and we'll talk about this more because I'm not finna put this on the podcast, but <laughs> ah, I've shit. shown AJ how much I've made. Like, I've shown Leon how much I've yeah. made, and they was like, nigga. That's a fact. <laughs> I, see, I see the numbers. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It was it crazy. dollar sign next to it. Like, yeah. 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 It was so, real. Like, True. So, you can make some good money if you learn it. Um, but anyway, like, as far as NFTs are concerned, um, so NFT is a non-fungible token, right? Okay. Um, the best way to describe, like. Non-fungible token. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> the, best, <laughs> the best way to describe. Like uh, a music NFT, because you have like a whole bunch of different kinds. You have different kinds of NFTs. So you got like the most popular ones, which are like the Bored Apes or, you know, the the art, like the generated like profile picture. They call them PFP projects. Okay. It's a profile picture project. It can be, they've got apes. They've got this thing called Invisible Friends. They have like all these different like, Really like some of them are really cool. Some of them are actually boring. Um, a lot of them like replicate each other sometimes, yeah. like they try to one up each other. And it's like, bro, like we already got enough apes as it is. Like, stop. These <laughs> the pretty much the digital uh, ape pictures. Right. Mm-hmm. I've seen those. I've and seen those, those are like. If y'all go to the video I just did for Wonder F with you, the scene where he pulls out his phone in the bedroom. He has his NFT of his ape. Oh, he's got an ape? Mm. Yep. Okay. He's yeah, those, got, he's, did he, he's got did one. Did he show you how much they're worth? He didn't, no. But yeah, them apes are like worth. So right now, Ethereum is like about $3,000, a little over $3,000. For one coin, right? Coin. Ethereum per coin. Okay. Mm. Like I did the math on that when I saw what you posted. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so this dude <laughs> double check, right? right. Like, right. like, hold up, you sold how much of an Ethereum? Hold on, let me yeah. See. So, <laughs> carry the one. Yeah, let's see what that come out to. Hold up, you can't. Shit kind of heavy. That shit's profitable. Hold up, off, off that one sale, you shit kind of yeah. heavy. Um, that's wait. a whole. That's a whole performance, but that's weeks of playing. That's a huge, yeah, bitch. right, bro. But you have to trust lot. that system, man. But I mean, so so, but the board apes like. Like the floor is, I feel like it's anywhere from like ten Ethereum and or more. Yeah. But like, what happens is these PFP projects come out and like you know you do your research. Like they have, they call it a a, a whitelist. I don't like calling it that, but like essentially they tell you like the crackers. The, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> right. But they at least like they they show you like their plans for the PFP project like community stuff like what they want to do like you know um et cetera, et cetera. and then they have like um they essentially like they give you like you can get on the i think i can't remember what it's called but essentially like, you can get on a list of people who get early access when it first drops and then they'll have like say they'll say we're gonna mint like ten thousand of these things and so if you're in the community in a Discord, it's like you can get on their list of early access. But then they have like the public minting after like one day or something like that. And um like I tried to it was a joint that um this dude I know, Javon, he's a part of the loser club. And so they had That's a cool, pub man. Yeah, it was it's pretty cool. They had a public minting, but like right after the public I mean, right after the private minting, they had a public mint. And I tried to get in, and like them joints, like it was like four thousand left, and they it literally went in like two minutes. Mm. Damn! And some of it is because like some people sit and wait at the computer for these joints. Okay, so just to kind of contextualize it, if I w- you're pretty much if I was a car salesman, I want my cars to be entered into this car auction. Mm-hmm. Is that what you're saying? No. 
Okay. What do so, you like, essentially, like, some of these projects, they create, they do a bunch of art for them, right? Like, different pieces. So, like, you know, say they have a bunch of different colors they want. I don't know. Kind of like releasing a clothing line. Say it's like, say somebody comes up with some PFP project for, like, I don't know, tigers or something, right? And there's a digital tiger. Right. And so they, they essentially, like, they're generative projects. So they'll draw a bunch of different colors, a bunch of different, like, hats or whatever they want to put on them, right? And then they'll let a computer, like, generate, like, the different combination of, like, accessories mm. or whatever the case is. Mm. Like, a bunch of them. Because they don't draw them manually. Like, yeah, they yeah, have yeah. a computer, like, generate them. You just draw the base. All the different combinations right. or whatever. So, yeah. But, but anyway, like... Some people actually have bots going like mint, like <laughs> buy the NFT for them just so they can get it and have several of them, which is crazy. So question, question. Do you think that NFTs devalue real like physical art? No, not at all. Because I mean it's just a new it's just a new way to art. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that's really all it is, right? of art, yeah. Yeah. Is that, that's, is that's that really much, all it is? It's just, of like, yeah, it's just the evolution of it. In my, in my opinion, I think it is. But we're is not this, replacing is this, one. We're just adding another. It's just another type of art. We're just adding another outlet. Is this all still, like, some... At one point, I thought maybe this was in preparation for, like, a full-scale metaverse where you go into, like, someone else's world and you can see the NFTs and the it's art. Meta art. They already have that. So that's... <laughs> That's so it's what like, it is, that's right? the thing. No. So it's like in the meta, you walk in and they have their NFTs hanging on the walls. They have their... they have metaverses. I think it's called. Is it Decentraland or Sand? I think it's one of the two. But you can literally have your art hung up in a in metaverse. Your, right. That's what I figured. Right. If you so wanted I to. But the the thing is, like, I can follow the crypto world pretty well with all the rhetoric around it. And understand it, but as soon as somebody says NFT, I get lost as how to become a part. Okay, so yeah. so let me go back a little bit, and let me say this too: I'm still learning a lot of shit right now. Yeah. So I mean, we might have to later on do a part two, and I come back. <laughs> right, 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 yeah. right, right. But so right. NFT is a non fungible token, right? Like these tokens can go into your wallet, which like your you digital get wallet. a digital wallet. Yeah. Like you get a like I have a MetaMask wallet. Um, I have a wallet on there too. I can't remember what it what it is, but I have it's the logo. The colorway is black and yellow. Okay, the MetaMask is like a fox. That's the that's the logo for it. So okay. I have I have a MetaMask wallet. Um, but yes, when you purchase an NFT, like it goes into your wallet, your, your wallet right? Okay. So which is essentially your assets mm-hmm. in the NFT. Your wallet. money and whatever tokens you own. So the token can be a video. It can be. Uh, a board ape, it could be whatever, like you buy, like you purchase. When you purchase an NFT, like you can, there's different, like Solana is a cryptocurrency, they have a blockchain, Polygon, but the most popular one is Ethereum. So you use Ethereum to purchase an NFT, right? Okay. Um, or sell it if you want to. You could put it up for auction. The thing is, like, when you buy an NFT with Ethereum, mm-hmm. there's this thing called like, ga- it, like this thing called gas. So oh, like, that's what you were saying. Yeah. Right, it's a service fee. It sounds like so pretty much. Yeah, if you want to think about it that way. <clears throat> yeah, like, I need it all in. It's like terms tax I use every day. Right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Regular so gas like, is a service like, fee for purchasing an NFT. Right, but gotcha. it's like a tax almost. So like when you go to the store or something to say like. Ten ninety nine, but then when you go to the register, it'd be like, gotcha. ended up being like fourteen and some mm-hmm. change. Now, who owns like the gas? Is it based off hype, off of like the, speculation? <laughs> no, it. they trying to find out how to get a piece of the who gas. Is the, <laughs> who's the Uncle Sam of the gas company? No, 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 yeah. no, no. Of, so the, like, of the cryptocurrency. The right. gas is what it takes to move things around on the blockchain. Literally, energy it takes to move the digital thing from one point to another. Yes. Which is why and now gas which is why be, which is why China banned the farms because it takes so much energy. So like so yes, but gotcha. so now with the gas, like you can with gas fees, they change. So if everybody is minting or buying NFTs, like in like the right gas, now the, the gas goes down. The get no the gas goes up. Okay. While people are not minting and like, you know, whatever, uploading or whatever or transferring back and forth, like late at night. 
mm-hmm. the gas goes down. You know what I'm saying? You still gonna have to come off some gas fees. <laughs> But it's, it can be it can mm-hmm. be anywhere from eighty dollars to versus twenty dollars, like mm-hmm. late at night, one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning. So you're paying, like you're if you paying it forward milk, to your server farms. You're paying. You're paying your service farm. Your your uh, your server farm. Um, you buy it at night and pretty, a, get, yeah, yeah. twenty dollars I mean, yeah, for a carton of milk. Yeah, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to think the of gas. Something. Think of think of the gas as like. I, I want this thing to travel from point A to point B. Does mm-hmm. it does does the price vary based off of distance? Like no, if it, I'm in North it Carolina varies, and I'm sending it to China, it literally varies it's off the of, internet, man. It's literally it, buried off user activity. Yes, mm. right. Mm. Okay. Yeah, it's man. On how much <laughs> energy is going to take to transfer from point A to point B? So when a a certain NFT is transferred more than others, then that NFT requires more gas. You said what now? If one NFT is transferred around more than others, no. Say there's 50 people right now minting or transferring. Okay, got you. And that's like minting or or selling NFTs right now. Like 50 to 100 people, the gas might be low. Two dollars. It might be less versus a thousand people using the energy. It's just based on. So that's that's the that's the multiplication thing. It's like okay, there's a thousand people. It's like your it's your fee times a thousand. Because so if if you sure. want to think about it that way, it's just like the more user activity, the there higher is. the gas is going to be. So right. does that mean that y'all have organized times that we're going to use this together so that all of us can have low fees? Like if that was the case, I feel like what you mean use? Yeah, I was going to say what user wise, usage? user activity wise. Like if I know the more of us that are on here, our gas fee will go down. Then is there like a community? You mean high? Oh yeah, that's yeah, right. But you said, is oh, there a community yeah. my bad. Now? I'm still thinking that the more users are on there, the price goes down. No, but, right. but you so, said so, what now? Uh, well, it doesn't matter now because what I was thinking was, if that was the case, then I'd be like, all right, y'all, every Together, Sunday at one o'clock, yeah. we need to get on here, start trading. So you have to do shit. the opposite and yeah. hope that people to try and control the the gas prices. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. I don't you know if you could even control any of this because it's like. It's like if there's a gold rush to the West and you try to tell the homie like, hey, look, trust me, just hold on. If we just wait for them to get this little pocket, we going to get what's after. No, it's niggas gotta, is going to be you like. You got to go over there when you whenever you go over there. Right, yeah. right. You got to go like, yes. Yeah, so if you're trying to mint a, a, like some art or something like that and it's like, oh, we're only minting these like from this time to this time and it's just the afternoon uh, and that's the only time they're going to. They're, um, they're gonna mint it. Yeah. Then you have to mint it during that time. But if you can wait, you know what I'm saying. You catch them in the back end or the like last yeah, time. like yeah. later at night. You yeah. know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Then then you can wait. So oh, so there is value in playing the waiting game. Yeah, I mean, if you it's got risky, time though. to spare, I mean, it depends on what you're trying to do. Like for example, like for me, when I mint my music NFTs or a video, I'm waiting till later in the night. To, to mint. Now, if a lot of people gotcha. have that same mentality of just like, okay, let's all wait till night. What if thousands of people wait till night? Right. And no, then that, everybody's doing it at night. That's not going to happen. Yeah, but I, say, I don't know. I think night. just like, sleep. Just, <laughs> like just, just like, people uh, have day yeah, jobs. How late are we talking yeah. anyway? Like, you know, it can be, two in the morning? Here's or? another thing too. Like, say there's market manipulation or Bitcoin crashes. When it crashes and it's just kind of stagnant. It's not really moving. Gas mm-hmm. fees are low no matter what time of the day it is because nobody's trying to buy, like, really try to buy NFT around that time okay. or mint anything, right? Um, but, okay. like, yeah, it's just be- it's just better to wait. Mm-hmm. It's just, like, as late as you at, at, like, tw- Maybe, like, you start seeing the decline, like, around 10, 11, but the lowest around prices bedtime. is, like, yeah, Lowest prices to and from what I've seen, it's like 12, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. Okay, and, it, and that kind of goes to like maybe seven, eight a.m. and then like I've seen like nine a.m., ten a.m. like gas fees goes back up. Okay, well you know day trading is like that. It's like everybody right. there's right. different. Right. You're right. The opening bell is different yeah. in different countries. So yeah. Yeah. if you're actually a day trader, but you actually it, start at three a.m. That's then, that's specific but, but because to like it's regulated. The closes too. Right. There's an open and closing time. So there's like gonna be a, there's gonna be a, like a, a dead a period. Yeah. There's gonna yeah. be there's gonna be so, a window. Right so as far as music NFTs are concerned, right, right, mm-hmm. music NFTs the best way to explain it, and I guess you can kind of like explain it. You could use this explanation for anything else. But music NFTs, the best way to explain it is like, if I go 
to the record store and I buy a like a vinyl record. I now own the like a physical copy. Like nobody else owns that mm. record pressing. Right. Right? One of one of something. One of one of some number, yeah. One of one of some number. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Like, but the music NFT is one of one. Right. Right? So like it's essentially I own like when I go buy a vinyl, I own the physical copy of that record. Like that's the best way to explain it. But aren't um even though someone has that one of one, aren't other people still allowed to own that same one? Mm, no. So Unless I make, aren't so, they aren't they able to sell it? No. So he yeah yeah. So check this out. So you said one of one, right? There are so there's this platform called Sound X Y Z where they do multiple editions. Okay. So like so say, that's how it, it that's, becomes that's like saying somebody saying I'm selling 25 vinyl records of this album. Or wait, the wait, song. wait 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 wait. So you saying I'm about to break? Oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, I'm okay. about to get there. I see where you're going. <laughs> you adjusted I yourself. Yes, yes. Like, I'm, right. about to, I'm about to break it down for okay. you. Okay. Okay. Uh, so what I'm doing right now, because Sound XYZ is a super dope platform, and I'm actually AJ. If you can go to Sound XYZ real quick, Sound dot XYZ. Don't say nothing because you're gonna see some shit. You're like, nigga, what? Oh. <laughs> Go, I got a computer go, too. Go to sound, yeah, oh yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So soundxyz.com. Dot xyz. Dot xyz. Oh. Oh, sound dot xyz. Dot xyz. Mm -hmm. It's not even so, dot com. Yeah. Oh, yeah so yeah. like, it's crazy. So with niggas is out here. Whoa. I can watch out for those, watch out for those pop ups. <laughs> These domain <laughs> names. Man. Yeah, yeah. So that's how. So that's how much they've raised. Like, like. Nigga, like what? Million dollars. That's how much they raised. But let me show you this. But oh. let me show you this. Check this out. Turn it back around. Let me show you this. This this is this is like what cats are making. Oh, let me go check all. Tell stuff. me where you click. Oh, I saw that. I see like, it. You're 15 right. Ethereum, so, 8 so Ethereum. Go to how many ways is that number split? 100 Ethereum and yeah. times that by three. Times that by three bands. Because that is, that is seven figures. But how many ways is that seven figure split? So all right. So let me let me let me back. Over First off, that's nine figures. So check it, this it was out. nine. Oh, it was nine. I saw it from back here. So right. it's actually nine ten. Figures? It's wow. It's billions of dollars. So so check. So wait. So check this yes. out. So it's ten figures with music with is music. <laughs> <laughs> with, with music NFTs, oh no, seven, you're right. Um, with music NFTs, like you can either do one of one, or like some people go to OpenSea, which is another platform, a popular one where people do videos, art, like all kinds of like a lot of people. It's also big for like secondary market too. Like secondary market of like say for example Sound X Y Z. My homie Iman Europe is um, the head of artist relations over there. She say she releases. She's having a release on Monday, right? Seventy seven editions. So say somebody like buys one of those editions, they can turn around now that they minted it and they purchased it, they can turn around and sell it on OpenSea if they want to. Mm -hmm. Right? But because she's so active and she's popular in the in the in the, like in the web three world, it'll be sold a lot. Like of times. people are gonna like try to buy it or whatever. And so that's what causes the floor to go up. So that's what I'm saying. So someone can buy a one of one and then sell that one of one if they wanted to later. But this, on. but that's creating other editions of that no, one. No, no, no. It's still that. It's only seven to seventy-seven. So, but what I sent, what I sent that one of one, I it's don't like have it anymore. A licensing agreement too. That's what it no, seems like so, to me. Yeah. So, here, so here's the thing too. Like, you can't. You you don't own the record again. Like you own the pressing of that record digitally. You own the vinyl. So I get publishing that. rights for whoever else I give this. No. To. Does it give you rights to sample that record? No. If you want to sample it? Damn. Because that's uh, that's what I thought it was doing. I was like, that's again. awesome. Because now can you, you can play a song. No. You can, <laughs> you can play what it. can you do here? No, so you, you can like, play. No. It. Here's the thing. <laughs> here's like, let's let's get to the basic. Shit. Right. I, mean, I want to know. Yeah. So check this out. So here's the thing. Like, you own the pressing of that. That record, the digital pressing of that record, yeah. like we say, like a vinyl record, right? Like, yeah, I'm the one who turned this into a vinyl, huh? Like, like I pressed the vinyl, literally. Yeah, yeah pretty yeah. much. Like, minting Digitally. is like in music and that is kind of like that. It's like yeah. burning yeah. CDs. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Uh, that's what record, I was gonna say earlier. Vinyl records. So you don't, but you burning don't have any rights records. to alter the content, though. No, you cannot. No, but that's what I was asking. So how are we? You selling don't get it? an MP3. You don't get a WAV oh. file. You don't get none of that. So you, you just get? own it digitally. You can listen to it. Okay. How? You can hit play on it. 
uh, but, but on you whatever can, you're. Can't everybody but know? But you cannot. But, yeah. But you where can I hit play? But here's the here's the thing though. Check this out. What happens is like as that person grows in Web three, yeah, or even not even just Web three, just right? in popularity, too. just popularity. So yeah. like Snoop, you saw he sold a hundred editions. Uh, I saw that, right? Yeah, that's the thing. I don't get the editions, but continue. Go ahead. So the editions is essentially like a vinyl record. So like if if Kendrick, like Good Kid, Mad City, there's probably hundreds of like that vinyl record. Yeah. Around the world, yeah, right? Sure. Mm -hmm. It's essentially he did a hundred pressings of one song. So digitally. you can mint the song more than once. You can, you can no, you can, yeah, you can mint it one time. Once it's minted, then that's when you own it. But then you can sell it to someone else. But you can sell it to more than one person. No, just one person. You're mint. That one person you, yeah, you, only one you, mint, you only have one. You only have one mint. Person, you right. have only mm -hmm. one vinyl record. But that person can sell it to somebody else. Yes. But if they, after he sells it, he can still play it. Yeah, you well, can. Because anybody can play it. Because anybody can play it. Okay. But you've sold your But you. But have every sold time it's vinyl. sold, it comes back to you. N no. What you mean? No, it doesn't come no, back to you. No, you sold it, you sold it. That's what you said. You saying. sold it, you can't you no, don't own I mean, it anymore. No, I mean, every time, is it a say, one time, say is it, Matt, is there say any Pat. residuals to Hold on. Is what he's no, yes, Pat, Pat there say is. that you, you mint a record. Uh -huh. You sell it to AJ, right? AJ buys that shit for one Ethereum. Then AJ sells it to Shane. I get no, I you get, get you get, get some, royalties off of you that. get royalties oh off of so that. you do get royalties after you sell it to someone At, so right. if so for example the the my first NFT that got sold mm -hmm. I put a twenty percent like like royalty like to get back right if that person goes and sells it I get twenty percent if okay. that person people. sells it I get twenty percent right. if that person sells it I get twenty percent and those are the additions. N no, 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 no. That's no. why I'm confused. It's that one thing. So, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did I thought you we make were those Now, yeah. did you specifically set those terms for your Yes, NFT? I did. So now, if, if anybody, now, if whoever does not set those terms, did they not get that? You term? have to. Okay. Really? You have okay. to. You have to. Damn it, man. This this conversation is so yeah, fascinating. Is I'm trying to like, yeah, really, yeah, I'm trying to Yeah, it's so fascinating. Yeah, I don't want to Yeah, I'm trying to like yeah, 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 but, yeah, make I'll something tangible here. Yeah. So you yeah. can finish like, listening I'm, to it. Right, it's right, kind of right, starting. Right, I'm like, I'm, I'm starting to like gas, like grasp the pieces. So of let's it, man. let's start with me, right? So recently I minted Beauty in the Tears, right? Great song. Appreciate it. Thank you. On uh Go Fangs on Sunday reprise. Almost everywhere. Um, but uh, so I minted it like so. I'm using Web three as a tool to um, bring my homies in on the action to uh, fund my music even more. But I'm also using it, you know, what I'm saying as a way as, as rollout. Like you know what I'm saying. Like yeah. it's it's a it's going that's going to start happening with music more. You're yeah, gonna there's see. There's a there's a in person. Interview rollout and there's an NFT digital rollout. Right, yeah. You well, know. I, there's the NFT rollout, and then yeah. you still. So you're like, I'm mentioning, I'm mentioning this record for the NFT fans. What? So that's essentially what I did was I dropped the song. It's out on streaming everywhere, but I minted it, right? And do most people mint one song or do you mint the whole album? What's more popular? You could do either way. I'm assuming, it, 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 right? It doesn't matter. So what it happens, makes more sense to kind of you probably want to do it by song by song, yeah, nickel yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, the thing that y'all like pulled up for and helped me. When that was me getting on that platform catalog, because it's very, it's kind of difficult to get up there. Gotcha. So I got on the platform, which a lot of collectors like are watching that, like specifically from this made for specifically music NFTs that platform um, catalog. And so a lot of collectors who collect music NFTs watch that platform. So I put it out there, a few days went by, which is, you know, Friday. And a collector saw it, he heard it, he saw the story, which is really dope too, because like artists, if you, a lot like, so artists, they get interviewed, they do podcasts, they do whatever. But when it comes to like telling the story, many people, unless they, they you know, if they How have- How they hear your story? Right. If, they, if they have their own camera or whatever, they could do that, right? right, right. I mean, you could do that now, but like as far as long form- so what you do, like, on catalog, in the description, I tell a short story of, like, what the song's about, inspiration. The description of these things. All that stuff like that, right? Like no, you're pitching well, it. Not, I, don't, I'm, I think it may be on Sound XYZ, but I know on catalog. Catalog works. Like, that's where I'm into Beauty and the Tears. So, like, on, like, I put in the description everything. They listen to the song, and if they like it, they put a bid in. Now... Sound XYD, Sound XYZ is ex like 
you buy it. Like it, like it's editions of it. There's no bidding. You buy it straight up, straight up. And there's a you set the price, right. right? On catalog, I could do the same thing, but what I did was I made it an auction. So say that dude put in point five, somebody behind him could have put came in point seven and put point, you know, point five five, and somebody else could have came in and point. So that's a bidding war. Mm. So then whoever wins that, say it would have went up to one Ethereum. I would have got one Ethereum for it. You know what I'm saying? You would have got three bands. Let's 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 say it like it is. Right, three bands. <laughs> like right now. Something like um, <laughs> and then you can go and withdraw that in hard dollars. Yes. But the thing is, like, say he takes it, I don't know, say two years from now, like I get a plaque for some or whatever the case is, or my name is buzzing more in Web Three, like he could turn around and sell it for more if he wants. Because now you've boosted your value. Yeah. Right. As the person, so yeah. because he owns an addition, he has the right to price it how he wants. He can price it how he wants. Oh, that's fire! Okay. But if he sells it, so check this out. There was this one dude that bought this dude, this producer named Oshi. Like he did a sound X Y Z release. Mm -hmm. Somebody took it right, um, and like different people were selling it at different prices. But when you do a sound X Y Z release. Like there's a like one of them is called the golden egg, and that one is like worth more in a sense. Somebody took that, right, and they put it on OpenSea for a larger price. But as his other editions are selling, the floor price is going up. Right. So somebody took one of his joints. I think it might have been the golden egg. I think I really think it was. Maybe it wasn't. They put it. They listed it for eight point nine. Ethereum, and the same person that bought my joint the previous night, he bought Oshi's like one of his songs for eight point nine Ethereum. Mm. Mm. So he got whatever the percentage he set for that joint, whether it's twenty, thirty percent, he got that. Mm. Yeah, Damn. from the joint. Yeah, so he's still he's get, but yeah, I mean, there's people out here with money like that, bro. Like, okay, so well, it's a great way to invest into an artist. My, yes. Okay, so my next thing, exactly. or my next question is, it almost sounds, because if we're talking classic music, publishing, master, record, royalty, things of that nature, splits, NFT world has nothing to do with that that side of things, right? No. So NFT has nothing to do with my publishing, uh -uh. my master ownership of the record. It has nothing to do with that, right? That's all still yours. Okay, so then my next question would be, do I have to own that thing in order to make it an NFT? You know everything about yes. NFTs, right? You have to own it. Is it there is there yours. is there a verification process? Because say you know everything about NFTs, right? Uh -huh. I own the same you say that you love me record. Could you just take my you say that you love me record? Take all my artwork and all I that could, stuff and but post it? I could, but then yeah. like somebody like you or one of your homies would be like, yo, nigga, that's not yours and report it and it can get snatched down by the platform. But what if you get ten bands off of it before I feel like or you get Two hundred twenty thousand off of it before I realized you even you even making suit. money off my shit. You it's know what I'm saying? They could probably yeah, you, they, you could still take me to court. Yeah, that. they could probably take you to court for that back. Yeah, for whatever you made off it. Yeah. And then the thing with cryptocurrency is, I will we be able to track everybody oh, associated so yeah, so check, with it? So check this out. That's what the black blockchain market. Is about, right? So check no, so no, so check well, this. Yeah, out. can you even find the person? To right. Take the court? Yes. There's this thing called EtherScan, and right <laughs> now, if y'all wanted to, if because the wallet address is public. You could plug in my wallet address and you can go see how much money I got in my wallet right now. I, I was just watching a podcast and they were talking about that. <laughs> and the first thing you that can they see all the transactions, I know, you can and see a dude, that, and, but they have no access unless they're a hacker. You have no access, but right. You can literally see, like, so if somebody took you to court, they could like find your Ether Scan address and see how much money you got off of it, and then you would have to like. Okay, Say what so you want. I think that should be public. I, th I think it should what, be public. What is? I think, I think what you're talking about, I think that should be public. I don't think it should be hidden. I think what well, He's I saying think, it is public. Yeah, no, it is saying, public. That's the thing. I feel, like the, I, think, I feel like that's the right way. Yeah. I do. I feel like, well, no, I feel like I that keeps it honest. Okay, so now, okay, so. <laughs> he trying to keep the secret to himself. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's awesome if you well, keep that secret, thing, but well, it's unregulated, man. Like, you don't know. Right now, the world isn't set up to where I can see what you got in your bank account. I can see what you got in your bank account. Why is this world set up like that? What if I don't want you to know how much I'm worth? But tax, in re this tax world? records are legally available, though. So, like, yes. I know how much your house is worth. Yeah. yeah. But not if I put it in a trust. 
If I put it in a trust, you won't have access to it. Well, but your tax records are tax records. But like it doesn't matter thing, if you put it in a trust or not. Here's the thing, though, because because so much money is it's flowing. Fl- fl- yeah, in it's, it's too much. Yeah, you got you want to see you that ha- right. That's what I'm saying. You have to make the yeah. You got to be transparent. Because like even so, like gotta I don't be. think so. okay. This is what I'm saying. Like, I, I hear what y'all are saying. Well, they can pull the rug on you at any time, and there's no there's no accountability for that. Like because like he said, there's whales. That's what I was talking. That's what scares me about c- cryptocurrency. There because are whales. Big, yeah. There are a few people that hold All a mass. I gotta be able to know what these niggas are doing. And it's like, right. It's oh. a big world. Yeah, like I gotta be able to know what these niggas because if not, they can just they can just pull the hedge fund shit and do whatever they want. Okay, got you. That makes more sense. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, because it's backed by people, we have to be able to see everybody's financial statements. Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like the only way. It's not even necessarily like their financial statements. It's yeah. just their financial. Yeah, their crypto transactions. Their, cri- their crypto that's transactions. That's all. That's all. And yeah. their net worth, yeah. it sounds yeah. like, too, because you said yeah. I could see exactly how much you ha- you have and all your assets. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, but it, I mean, the thing is, is like, it's, it's fire. I think it's fire because it's like. Damn, I got to people, people can you do? see. No, we need that. I do. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> all right, we're gonna talk about you might as well. We might as well do it all at one yeah, time. Yeah. The rug pull, the rug pull scares me. But that, but the, that's like a, Elon can destroy. Nah. Everybody's shit. Uh uh-uh, uh. Nah. That can happen. It's not, it's not that too, easy. Though. Like you, you don't like. It's it's not that easy. Like the, as far as a rug pull is concerned, like Bitcoin's fundamentals are too good at this time for it to like happen. Rug pulls are avoided. By doing your research on certain projects, find out find out about them, getting like getting to know the team, going to the Twitter spaces, getting in the Discord, all that stuff like that, and then then making a educated decision on whether you want to be a part of a project. Like, do NFTs have like white pages and all that shit too? Yeah, white papers, like white papers. So, are people do you read a white white list or whatever? Yeah, like they they, like the plan. I I I'll tell you this. I haven't. I want to. Get into like buying NFTs. I will because there needs to be more black collectors in the space. Because right now you're just selling. Yeah. Okay. Right now. Yeah. But like the the thing is is uh like I, I, I like I think I, I'm not gonna get I don't think I'm gonna get into a, a PFP project. That's just me. I just want to buy some cool art. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then maybe, you know, down the line, that, that person gets popular or whatever, and then I could flip that joint for however much I want to flip it for. But, like, so what I was showing y'all about the, with the Sound XYZ website, with that joint, bro, like, niggas is making 10, 20, 30 grand off of one song. That's crazy. One song. Because you're, you're, because like, you're, quickly. You're, 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 you're um, you're not selling rights, but you're you're like you said, you're selling editions of it. Right. Yeah. Wow. Niggas and you're make- getting and you're getting royalties. Okay. Another. But question. you're getting real royalties. Another and then, question. And then people and the thing is is like the cool thing is that like people can sell those their the ones that they own afterwards for for more if they wanted. to. Why to put sundress up there? So let's see if you so if you own an edition of it if you own one can you use it on your YouTube video? No. As background music. No. Because you don't own. So what about the rights? Because, you don't have the rights. Yeah. Okay. Right. That's like. It's, again, what about the main the main yeah. purchase? It's like okay. So example, if you went and bought a Drake record on vinyl, mm. would you use that in your YouTube video? That's right. You still have a, you still have a copyright issue. Yeah. I guess that's but true. as a DJ, if I buy a if I buy a record on iTunes, I could play it in the club. That is true. If you wanted to, you could play an NFT song as a DJ. You could. Right. At your party or whatever you want to yeah, do, yeah, but that's not the same thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're just playing thing. a song, but yeah, you t- because like, but so you can't play it on YouTube. Monetized. Yeah, huh? but it's monetized in the club. You just you just can't play it on not YouTube. directly, not directly though. Uh, I mean, it is. I'm getting streaming? paid to. Pl- I'm getting well, not yeah, you're, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're not getting yeah, yeah, you're not getting yeah. It's always been that way. Yeah, yeah, I feel that. I feel that. And like making that you your get mechanical soundtrack. Royalties. The artists are still getting mechanical royalties. Right. Come out for the NFC shit. For people playing their music and D- as hey, DJs. Come out on Spotify, yeah, on yeah. iTunes, but I mean on Apple Music. But like as far as the NFC, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you're making money both ways. What separates the NFT your, You're making your classic mastering and production bag, but you're also making an NFT bag. 
You're making the money off the song in multiple different ways. That's true. You're adding another source of right, right. For but, people who do both Web two and Web three, and let me define that too. So yeah, web, I don't even know what the difference. So Web those two, two is. is everything I was doing before NFTs. I don't know. What so any Web two is like is. what we all know as as internet transactions. Internet, it will like copyright stuff as far as music is concerned like so is web one just like what i'm on like <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. Like, yeah. i don't know what yeah like so, www.com right. is that no, web so, one so web oh, okay, two okay. is like my website it's Bandcamp. it's spotify it's distro kid it's doing shows and tour like that's web two shit right doing okay. tours and all that web three is nfts mm. oh it's monetized microtransactions it's web three Gotcha. Pretty, for the most, but aren't yes. monetized microtransactions on Web two also? I feel no, like this on the on yet. the blockchain. Okay, okay, so that's what you mean by microtransactions on the on the blockchain, on the blockchain. The editions and all that. Yeah. So okay. so Web three is almost like buying DLCs for your video games. Uh it's like it's like you already you already have bought an edition of the game. You've already bought the game. Right, but you're buying no, no. Isn't it more of if you're gonna use that? Isn't it? It's more literally, of like, it's literally the it's the blockchain, cryptocurrency, like all of that. Yeah. And I hate like there was another dude. Uh, I wish we had some footage from that guy that I tell because y'all was lit. <laughs> from who? From <laughs> talking about that, talking about talking about that, talking about that room we was in. <laughs> yeah, I got the screenshots. <laughs> Oh, you got screenshots? Hell yeah, because that shit was hilarious. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I miss. I don't know what y'all Who talking was about. In that you moment? was in there, bro. What are you talking about? The we're, joint where we voted for Pat. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all yeah, was that going room? crazy. Bro, this we, man, oh, yeah, we, we was, was in there crazy. trolling, yeah. bro. This man, Nance, 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 this man, Nance, Nance, Nance went crazy. his name to Nance, a.k.a. Run That Pat Jr. <laughs> <laughs> he made a sock account just to just. Yo, we was trolling, No, bro. so it's this thing called Gather.Town, which is the metaverse in a sense. It's like this 2D platform. It looks like a video game, low it key. Does. Like, I think it looks like, like it looks like Pokemon. Mm. It looks like you're inside of a big ass house on Pokemon. The yeah, game, it's a true metaverse. It's a yeah. true metaverse. Yeah, but yeah. you talk. And it was the you, actual Game Boy version of metaverse. Yeah, uh, but Pokemon. You could talk to people like with voice chat. You could even have a. You got a camera in there, but like it's a chat. You could you know have emojis and you can like create an avatar and all that stuff. Like, um, but yeah. I, I hopped in there with this platform, uh, this organization called Float, and they have like a curation night where whoever brings essentially the best song, you know, they get them on catalog. Don't get me started on that shit, cause you know what I'm saying. I'll I tell ain't... you this though. Yeah, I'm not gonna go into. Okay, it. I'll bet. tell y'all that. Cause you off see, yeah, I'm not camera. gonna go there either. We'll, but... we'll talk about it, but like. You know, we hopped in there, gang gang hopped in there. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Running. Yes, sir. <laughs> Running shit. <laughs> <laughs> Trolling these but, niggas. Um, but yeah. Bringing a little bit of that Web 1 energy to the Web 3. <laughs> web 2, nigga. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm calling it Web 1, like Twitter. Instagram. This guy, man. <laughs> but yeah, so but um They thought it was safe over there. They, they we was thought roasting it. their ass. <laughs> they went, yo, them niggas man and AJ went too far, bro. I was like, bro, y'all wild. Cause look, right we listening to these other songs, right? And I was like, bro, oh, I ain't know what the energy was, right? I didn't know if like it was supposed to be like going hard. Oh yeah, appreciate it. I'm fucking that popcorn up. Yeah, you were. I ain't know if we were supposed to be like going hard, like Staying silent for the other people, but then I saw Nance and they're like trolling a little bit, like, like yeah, this song's cool, but go ahead and put that Pat Junior back on. So then <laughs> somebody sent a screenshot. And defense. <laughs> Pat had a, Pat had us in a um, group chat with everybody that he invited to help support him. Yeah. And then I saw some of the screenshots that Pat that Nance was posting. I said, "Oh, Nance, you going hard like that? Say that. <laughs> I was playing nice." The next song comes on. I was like, "Yo, this." I was like, "Yo, this song sound like it was dropped from Euphoria." We was going in. <laughs> so it was it was like a live streaming event or something? Is that what yeah. Pretty much like yeah. we it was like they invite artists to submit their music and you know, you can bring whoever or what you know. But I, I brought gang gang, man, and we was in that joint. So you do deep, it. It's the only way to do yeah, it, right? Yeah, we so. was in that joint deep. But I mean, that sounded like that Euro song contest shit. That's really what that's there's this there's this Eurovision thing where they like they take all of Europe and everybody in different countries submit a song. They pick a song that like they dedicate you like like North Carolina would pick a song. 
oh, South okay. Carolina oh, pick a song. Okay, okay. And they all submit it, and then all of Europe votes on what's the, the song of Europe for the year. Gotcha. So it's kind of like that. I, mean, I don't know if there's yeah. anything like that at but all. Yeah, but. That, but, um, but yeah, man, so I, like, it felt good because I started, like, Iman Europe, like I was telling y'all, that's the homie. She... I've been following her for a couple of years, and shout out to Iman, man, because she she is on that, that Sound XYZ joint. Yeah, so she's she works for them actually. Um, she's the head of artist relations, and um, just a really dope artist, like, and just a really dope person. We haven't met in person yet, but I have been following her like for the past couple of years, and then she hopped into Web three and started doing music NFTs and everything, and so. I just hit her up and I was just like, yo, I'm trying to learn. And she was like, Pat, I want you in here. And so essentially, like, she is like for Star Wars point of reference, she's my she's my Jedi master, man. Right. And so mm. she um she's literally like, so when you onboard somebody is when you like bring them into Web3, you kind of take them under your wing. Is it it isn't just like showing them how to get a MetaMask wallet and all that, but like you literally bring them in and like show them the ropes and all that. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's an extended like process. Okay. Um, and it, it looks different, but I was the first artist that she onboarded, like, um, while she, you know, you know, when she came into Web three, which is like a lot of people didn't know that, but it was kind of a big deal, like for like at least for her, because now she's like her name is like blowing up in Web three mm-hmm. or whatever. And so there was a little bit of pressure on me um, to, <laughs> to, to actually bring up yeah. yeah, to, 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 well, to produce, yeah, yeah, to produce to to get a bid, right? Like, you know right. what I'm gotcha. saying? Like, cause like I run with my homie James, um, James Garden, um, Saw One, and Almond. Like we have this Twitter Spaces every Thursday. Uh, we call ourselves the Web Three Black Notes, and like we, you know, what I'm saying it's building like Web Three is very much so about building community. Um, so, so let me, let me just keep it funky with y'all like a little bit, like one thing that kind of like rubs me the wrong way a little bit about web three is they throw the word community around so much, right? Like, yeah, community, community, let's cheer each other on, let's help each other, let's, you know, whatever, right? Like, yeah. and some of it is just for show, you know, like. It's not to me community isn't somebody minting something that is or like a song that's okay and I share it just to be like, Hey, you did it. Like right. community is what we do off this, yeah, off this podcast. Right. Everything yeah. I send you, you definitely don't be like, This is it. You but know, beyond you, yeah, beyond yeah. but beyond the music, like we talk, we hang yeah. out. Like right, that's right. who I am as an individual. Like real when I was community. growing real community, like Nigga, like, I'm talking about... But this is a new age community, too, but check this, But check this out, like, I'm talking about, like, I'm six, seven years old with my 14, 15, like, cousins in Maryland at my grandparents' house every fucking summer, sharing chores and riding bikes together, like, getting in disagreements and we having to work it out and all, you know what I'm saying? Like, Like, they throw that word a lot, and sometimes it's healthy because people actually mean it. And then sometimes, like, it's not, like, you know what I'm saying? Because the cult- community has to be cultivated. It ain't right. right. It ain't really community. Yeah. It's you networking. Stop saying right. community so right. yeah. It's yeah. not a social yeah. community. It's just y'all have yeah. a, y'all all share the same goal. Right. Or, like, you supporting somebody just to get support back. Or, right. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. Like for like. Right. Hashtag yeah. like for yeah. like. Yeah. It is, yeah. It's transactional. Or, or it's transactional. Like, follow like I don't know if you've yeah, ever seen. I don't know if you've ever seen the, um. The hashtag wag me w h g m i we that. all gonna make it. That's what that's the hashtag. Oh, I know about that. Yeah. And it's like the reality is like, bro, <laughs> we like all gonna we all no, not gonna not make gonna it, bro. Yeah, like, that's not even reality. You know. And so what's that involves hap- every player like being in, in on right. the same. Yeah. And what happens is is like the other thing is too. Unfortunately, and I'll just be open about this too. Like there are people that come from Web Two, which is like the stuff I like essentially torn and all this stuff we talked about, right? People leave Web 2 and come to Web 3 because Web 2 wasn't successful. Right. Like, Mm -hmm. they're not getting the blogs and the podcast. Like, essentially, your music career is not elevating because the music is not good. Right, right. Like... Mm -hmm. It all comes and to that. or and or your hustle isn't good. Right. Like your work. So people come over to Web three 
to get the oh man, we messed participation with you, trophies. Exactly. Right. Yeah. I was I was just about to say that. Oh, we mess with you, G. Your stuff is dope, and it's not really dope. Right. And so the thing is with Web three is that we we me and James and like we've been talking about this more in Web three, where it's like we need more tastemakers in Web three. Because right now there are really good people, and then there's a lot of top tier mid trademark. I made that up. Top mm. there's a lot of top tier mid, mid in Web yeah. three. Yeah. Like and it might be part of the episode title. You know what I'm yeah. saying? There's top a lot of mid shit, <laughs> top tier <laughs> mid. Yeah, no, it's real. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of top tier mid in Web three where it's like I'm talking about music and other projects too. I hope I hope top nothing. I'm not gonna do that. Overvalued. Over, things are being overvalued. I was, I'm just gonna say stuff I heard so. was less than top tier mid. Right, no, right. I, no, keep it a being like no facts, bro. Like, yeah. and it's and it's just like, like a, a lot of that stuff gets applauded yeah. because it's like, oh, you tried or just oh, the you, fact that you did it, the, right. the fact that you did it, and so what happens is, it's like, you know, I think there needs to be a raising of the bar. There needs to be like good constructive criticism. Like, this is one dude in, in Web three. Um, I kind of been building with him a little bit. He's definitely a scientist in Web three. That's how I see him. Um, his name is Black Dave, and like, he's a music artist in Web three, but he's very knowledgeable about the technology and like a bunch of shit. He gives a lot of wisdom out for just for nothing, just because he wants people to use it. And so, my homie James was talking about. Well, we were all talking about like shit that gets a pass, like music, like skill level in Web three. And he was saying, what if we had blogs where People not only talked about the utility, meaning, so in Web in Web three music. When I was telling y'all, I'm about to mint this NFT, but I have the artwork. So whoever purchases it, they'll they're gonna get the physical like artwork on the canvas. Mm -hmm. That's utility. So you can do the cool thing about music, like in Web three, is like as an NFT, you can add utility. You can do anything. Say you into like I don't know. Uh, say you win the kites, nigga, and somebody block somebody buys your song, and you send them like one of your favorite kites or something. You could do anything with utility, right? right, right? right. It's about the, the cool thing about music NFTs is you're able to connect with the fan or the the collector, like yeah. you know what I'm saying. Which is what what you want to do in music anyway. anyway right, right, right. And that was one of the things that was the hardest part for me to wrap my mind around is that I've heard people point to physical objects like or tangible objects uh -huh. and say, we can make that an NFT. But then I've seen more. That's not even true. Nah. So tangible items cannot be NFTs. You, well, they're, they're trying to do that now. Okay. They're trying so to. So that was always my biggest thing was the fact that Whatever I'm purchasing, it literally doesn't have a tangible ass. It's right. not. It's not something tangible. You know what I'm saying? Right, but right. you can you can create utility that includes a tangible object. Got you. Thank so you. like, or some people do stuff like where they'll make multiple editions of a song, and so whoever bone, buys like bonus version, whoever no, whoever buys this like buys these like NFTs, I'm gonna have a live recorded performance and. And you get to come to a token gated like access like like website. With token gated means you have to own the in the non fungible token to get into the website, and you can watch that live performance because you own the NFT. So the live performance of of whatever like so like say it you say access. it could be a live podcast. It would be <clears throat> us literally the live ver the live stream of us at the table. Yeah, got like, you. You Not, can make it. You can make it token gated. So like okay, so y'all. If I would have been there's pissed. a restaurant that just opened. Uh, Gary V just opened a restaurant or he's about to open a restaurant and it's token gated. That's token gated. That's crazy. Yeah. So like so going back to my point, he, what Black Dave was saying is what if hungry though. <laughs> no, no, no! It's real food. No, it's a real no, restaurant. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. It's a club. You own his NFT to get right. in, and Got once you, you own it, once you own the NFT, you that's have what access token gated to their, means. Like, so yeah. that's you. That's yeah. utility. So like Black Dave, I was, think I would be more into that version of it. Right. Yeah. So Black Dave was saying like, what if we have bloggers to where they would rate the music and also rate the utility? And we was like, yo, that's a genius idea. That's fire. Then it'll bring more value. To now, it'll bring like, more. But but also right now because Web three is so new. Like NFTs are so new, especially music NFTs are like the newest form right. of NFTs. The visibility of artists who are up and coming who are actually good is lower. 
Right. So right now, the, the biggest platforms for music NFTs is Sound XYZ, which is the biggest one, and then it's Catalog, right? The one I'm on. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, and so once you get on, like right now, sound sound. So you're trying ex- to build up on catalog so you can transition over to the other one, pretty much. Well, not necessarily. Well, here's the or thing: can you run simultaneously on both? You can. Oh, okay, you can, okay. But like sound sound X Y Z is curated. Gotcha. So like you have to be scheduled for. They release. got gatekeepers like, on there. They're they're showing you. They have moderators. They, they have moderators. I would call them moderators, yeah, curators, moderators or whatever. But like the way it works is like with like kind of right now like so sound xyz is kind of like remember back in the day how two dope two dope boys mm-hmm. was like the mm-hmm. shit to get mm-hmm. on mm-hmm. that's what sound xyz is right two now. dope boys okay. not right not Stuff right like yeah, so, drinks, but yeah. sound xyz and catalog are like the only the only two like m- like four music nfts now you can put your music on other platforms so like open Zora, like you yeah, can. Yeah, Sound XYZ put, has a link to OpenSea on there. Yeah, like you can you can put your music on different platforms, right? But those are the two dedicated for music because okay. OpenSea is like anything mm. and everything, like photography. It's open source. Graphic is open source, like right. Zora is the same thing, three D animation, like all that stuff. But Sound XYZ. And catalog are the two platforms dedicated to music NFTs. So like, that's why when y'all came into the joint, it was such a big deal for me because it's like, once I got on catalog, there are collectors that are on catalog looking for music NFTs, mm. and that's why my joint like sold. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So then, so so it's like, it's a like the the that's another thing that kind of you know bothers me is that. Sometimes people come into a lot of people come into Web three with music NFTs and everybody gets celebrated no matter what like the quality of anything the quality else. is which kind and, I, and I'm here's the thing too now like I'm not saying people in general should not be celebrated I'm talking about like we're celebrating top tier mid music and it's like don't clean why? it up them niggas trash. <laughs> 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 they doo doo for Cocoa Puffs. He is eloquently <laughs> calling it top tier mid. He is. <laughs> He's being really nice right now. But like that's he said, not nice. <laughs> a lot of people don't think that's nice. Like I actually, so, had, oh, it's underhanded I like quote, a motherfucker. I, let's I, let's I, I, tra- listen. I trademark. I trademark top tier mid one night. In the very next day, or one day, in the very next day, there was a Twitter space, and I went in there. Somebody was like talking about like. Me calling some top tier men, it was like For real? they was mad, yo. Damn, <laughs> they was mad. They was mad. They you was don't mad. want your shit to be called top tier men. Hey, so NBA, look, so. this is a direct quote from when we were in that space. Oh Twitter. no, man! Don't and that, man. there was a moment when there was some song playing, some top tier men was playing, and all the audio went out. Everybody was like, "Can y'all hear anything?" And I put, "Guy said, put that Pat Junior back on." <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Now, I didn't even see that message in real time. I didn't know. Yeah, that's funny. Man, that's funny. look, man. Because cause, cause AJ texted me later. He was like, yo, Pat, you really got a cult fan base, bro. Like, yeah, we was in there thugging, bro. <laughs> yeah, we was. Thugging. Sure. But that's we how was. we pull up for each other. Man. Right, yeah, right, though, right. Every time. You know what I'm saying? And but, it was so funny. I was texting Nance. I sent Nance a gift where I was giving him an award and a gift. Yo. I, I said... I said, shout out to you. You held it down tonight. You was going, you was going crazy with the trolling. <laughs> and then I started laughing because I was like, uh, I was like, bro, I bet the people we were in the group chat with were probably like, oh my god, who are these? These people are mean as shit. Like the yeah, people man. you were in the group chat. I had to hit aggressive. Up. I, to, I hit up them. I was like, bro, y'all went over, boy. Y'all was going no. I'm talking about wild. the people that we were your your group of people. Oh, my group of people. Yeah, because yeah. we the only ones really going that hard. Even in the, in the in the text message, I'm taking screenshots of the funny comments and putting them in there. And we in there going crazy. Going crazy, man. But, I mean, I, I appreciate. And that's the thing, too, is that, like, I think it proved, it really showed. Because the thing is, is, like, another thing that people do in, with the music NFTs is they'll be like, yo, uh, I just sold an NFT for, you know, this much, and it equals this many streams on. on." Uh, is that even true? 
It, well, they're just talking about monetarily, right? They'll say monetarily, like, like so I made this much off. I of this, made a thousand. It would take this many off streams of to do it, and it and it's, it's actually that would worth a million, yeah, a million. Yeah, million okay, I see what you're saying. but it's like, bro, okay, but it's still not the same because it's not the same. You're not million. reaching a million people, people exactly. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's different. No, no, for sure. yeah, you're popping right now. You're popping. You got some money. But you're. But it doesn't prove that your music is good. Yeah, you haven't exactly. grown as an artist. Yeah. The actual well, you're artist. not reaching people. a lot of people. Right. Nobody yeah. knows you. Yeah, right. The exchange rate is really high, but like you said, your yeah, your your impact is not very high. Right, and yeah. so I think a lot of people get good that confused. Like me and my homie James was talking about this last night. How like even when it comes to like metrics, as far as like, and I think I showed like who I was as far as a partial. Like part of the support I have when y'all showed up for me. Yeah, the because fact that you were you because you were like, oh, he's not just lit on Web three. Nah, right. nigga, he's, I got he's people lit that in real so, life. And people in right. real yeah. life support me, and so it's like, which a lot of them I feel like don't though. They I don't it, yeah. exactly, right. and they don't. Yeah. I don't think they try to compare the metrics of like the sales to the actual support, and it's not the it's not the same. Like we're not. I hate, and it's not on the human thing. It's like music. Like you wouldn't, you wouldn't compare as far as like success and reach. You wouldn't compare somebody we know around here locally, even myself, to like a Meek Mill. Like right. it's, right. Not, it's the not the same. same nigga. Right, 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 right. Like it's just it's levels. And we know that logically. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. Levels to this shit. Right, right, right. Right. You know what I'm saying? And so it's like in Web three, that's what happens sometimes. And I'm just being bluntly honest, like. If niggas see this shit and like people I know, then it is what it is. But it's like people like like foolishly do that. They try to equate, you know, just because I hadn't had any NFT sales yet, and you had two or three, then that means your music is you're more lit than me. You're more lit than I am, and it's like. In reality, no, no, no. We're very different. No, nigga, I have a life outside of this where I'm yeah. doing shows and getting paid, where I own a six-figure company and getting paid. Like, right, right, it's right. It's not right. the same, my nigga. Yeah, Respectfully, right. it's right, not the right. same. And so that's what happens. And so, and it's because it's very new. The technology is very new. I mean, that's like, the whole, that's just the whole thing in general. Still with, very early, man. And that's just the whole thing in general with technology and live streaming becoming more of a regular thing. Metaverses, um, people living outside of reality, right, on their phone or on the internet. That's just more of that. You know what I mean? So it's like that's yeah. all. That's all it is. It's just they're just creating opportunities. But I mean, to make with, money. with yeah, and on, well, on top of that, it's more people are stepping away from the reality. Reality. I think it's gonna often. it's gonna yes. overtake reality eventually. But 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 then yeah, on top sure, of like so. people in in the thing like niggas get ETH in their wallet, man. They get a couple of ETH in their wallet and they head blow. They change, well, they don't change. It just they get was, amplified. It's, it's really in them comes out, but like they amplified, they yeah, start, yeah, bro. Can I go in with since I'm selling things as a musical artist? Can I go in there with zero Ethereum? No, I have to. There's a buy-in. You no, you have to remember in order to mint something, you got to have gas. Hmm. How much would you say U.S. dollars that cost? Oh, you said about eighty to a hundred. Or no, about anywhere from twenty to. It to depends on what time. Like I know, with the with. But but, but what I'm saying is my my overhead. I can get in overhead wise. A hundred dollars. Create you, create a music NFT, and sell it for even half of what you sold your for, and make a serious profit off of actually what I put in. Yeah, I mean, you could you could take your your um, you could take what you did. Uh, or take a um, your song. It probably costs you depending on what time you um of night you mint it. So like with Float, they they because I won, they actually minted Beauty and the Tears for, for me. Nice, gotcha. That night, and so it you was avoided that fee. Yeah, so it was about like a little over a hundred, maybe a little under a hundred dollars to mint it, mm-hmm. and then um the bid open up. They but no, then then they because they helped me get up there. They took fifteen percent, mm. so they get a cut 
of that, you know, mm-hmm. that fifteen hundred, that half of a. So that's a distribution here. company, pretty much. Right. It's kind of, kind of. But now that I'm just, up just there, in that moment, yeah. But it's now that one I'm time up there, I can do whatever I want and not right. pay them a dime. Right. Okay, so they took their cut. They already took their cut. It was yeah, it wasn't yeah, a fifteen percent. Just off of one royalty. song. Gotcha. Yeah, this is okay. just one time they took their cut. One time. There was gotcha. one time fee. It's yeah, not yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. It's not like how you can get paid. That's what I was thinking. I was like, do they have fifteen percent? Like it's almost like a finder's fee almost. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, you can mint something, and yeah, I mean, the but the thing is, is that for everybody. This is a PSA from Pat Jr. For everybody hit me up now that I posted that joint, like, yo, man, help me help. Like, yo, like, or people that want to ask me, you haven't asked me. It's not as easy as it seems. Like, right. I'm having conversations with people. I mean, people. we're already, what we at? Hour and 20? Hour and 30? We had hour thirty in, and I'm still semi. I'm at, I went from like ten. I've learned. Confusion. I've learned a lot because of you, I'm Pat. At like but 60% I'm still confused right now. No, it's I'm improving mean, though. I'm, I'm, I'm no, up though. No, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm no, a little no, bit I feel like it's been a productive conversation. Yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah, we're I'm actually a little bit more like than half, but I'm still yeah. not at hundred yeah. percent. I agree. I'm not at yeah. yeah. I mean, like, like, I'm not confused, but I'm, so here. Yeah. So just to give you some context, right? Because I still don't know a lot. I hopped into Web three. First of all, it took me about. I'm glad I learned about cryptocurrency as fast as I did. Right. So I started, what was that, like March, I told you, of last yeah, year? Yeah, yeah. It was, yeah. I started in March with cryptocurrency. you and Nance were on it at the same time. Yeah, yeah. I started yeah. cryptocurrency around March, and then in no, late November, early December is when I started being in Web3 and, like, being in the rooms, being, like, Twitter spaces, because that's where a lot of the Web3, like, community it's going down is. Twitter spaces. It's on Twitter spaces, on gotcha. Twitter, or whatever. So I'm in there. Connected with Iman, I'm meeting people, all that stuff like that. Um, and so I was I was in the community for about two months and some change. And then February is when I minted my Genesis NFT, which is like Genesis, like meaning your first one. Okay. So that one hasn't sold, but it's still like people say sometimes it takes time for your first one to actually sell. So then I minted two more for Beauty and the Tears. I minted the Visualizer. And the the actual audio, that's what the audio is what sold on catalog. Um, so yeah, like I minted those the same week. So I still got two out there that can so be sold. So you can mint the music video too. Yeah. Mm. You can you can mint the like just separate like separate from the song itself. Yes. And use that one project to get multiple streams of revenue from on uh you know web three platform. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to like that's why I told you I'm going to my older catalog. Like, if I wanted to, I can mint every song off of Gold Fangs on Sunday. Right. Yeah. I'm doing that with the reprise. I'm minting every song, and then I have three visualizers that I'm going to mint eventually. As well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so they so, live separate from each other. So is it only a matter of time before some for an artist comes along and they release something that is only available to those who can buy an edition of it? Yeah, absolutely. I'm like, my Genesis NFT... That I did with Sianka is only on Web three, like it's not for streaming. Interesting. Mm. It, like the stuff on Sound X Y Z, it's only on Web three. That's how they work. Mm. Gotcha. Well, well that, that there's, a, there's a it's exclusively there's, there's a, level a couple, of, exclusivity. There's a couple exactly. of songs up. There's a few songs up there that that are on DSPs, but for the most part, ninety five percent. Vince Staples is dropping something yep. on there. I think I think that might be up. A song he just put out recently, possibly, okay. but their rule is usually it has to be your first debut has to be something that's, that's exclusively, exclusively that on sense. Web three. Yeah, that makes, makes sense. sense. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We need we need you fully dedicated. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. So so yeah, I mean, but I I spent time for about two or three months just learning before I minted anything. I already understood cryptocurrency. I had a MetaMask yeah. wallet, so I you already had a, you had a good foundation. I had a good foundation, yeah. And then I mint it. I start, you know, I got to know people and everything. Me and James started running our Twitter Spaces. We had a bunch of people pull up for my Genesis night, and I minted it, and I finally like fully entered. So now it's just me being consistent. But Washington, for Washington, for some of these people, like that's their life. Yeah, oh, like yeah. they do Web three full time. Web three is just a tool to me. Just like, like uh, some people do cryptocurrency trading all day. Yeah, it's a new all day. day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so they're full time. I mean, I am gonna go some of the to some of the IRL events. Like they just had um, Zorotopia at South by mm. Southwest. I was just about to say, uh, 
Yeah, I guess it would at some point those these platforms like they have to they have to cross. They're gonna have to do their yeah. own shows too. No, they are. Oh yeah, you yeah. gotta yeah, meet yeah, up. Yeah. You have to, like, you're gonna have to. The yeah. platform Zoro, like they had Zorotopia, and um, didn't Houston have one recently or something? I think. Sound XYZ, they had a um a IRL like showcase as well, mm-hmm. I believe. <laughs> yeah, it's so crazy that we're calling in real IRL, life. in real life. IRL, yeah, yeah. And like, like we all know what like IRL the fact is. That like, we have to, that we have, that to we have a to, lingo for yep. it is crazy yep. now. Like yeah. when then, that uh, was just what it was, you know right. what I'm saying? Right, and People then uh, gotta like just, they have right now, now, they have uh, this week NFT LA is happening, uh, but I'm gonna go to NFT NYC, which is in June. Okay. So this is when you like you know you able to link up, meet these people that you've been talking to online. Now some of these people I've actually had very dope Zoom conversations. I was gonna say with. video convos and stuff. I'm yeah. sure. Now there's somebody that I want to tell y'all about. I'm gonna tell y'all offline because I don't <laughs> want the Web three homies to that I don't know to see this, and then I say it yeah, like we're roasting y'all. No, I'm just playing. Nah. No, nah, I just don't want them to see, like, hear something very special that I have. Um, oh, but I've man. met some very incredible people. Like, the 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 best highlight about this Web3 shit to me, beyond the, like, getting, selling my first one, has been being able to meet some very incredible musicians that I probably mm. wouldn't have met. Otherwise. Otherwise. Right. Right? Like, connecting with some of these people. Um, so, like... There's one dude, like, Mad Keys, super dope piano player. Uh, my homie, like, Maroof, uh, like, he's super dope, like, MC artist, right, like, songwriter. Um, song one, like, she's a legend out of Chicago, but I, we never would have connected if it wasn't for the Web3 shit. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Uh, my homie Jasmine, she's an incredible, like, artist, but she, like, plays violin. She's a... Rapper, painter, singer, like super dope. So I've met some really cool people in this joint. You know what I'm saying? And just even people who are trying to build their own projects, you know, as well, like that are centered around music. Um, Domino. Domino is actually, um, I started chopping it up with him. He's a good dude. Um, He actually uh, started off as like an illustrator in Web3, Mm -hmm. but he also does music. And he dropped an album, and the album has made close to two hundred grand, like Damn. in Web three. Right. See, I really like this idea in the sense that, like, it allows people in niche environments like hip hop, yeah, to set values for their own things that are important. And to he's them. got his streaming numbers; are, they're they're cool, they're decent, but like. He's booming made, over here. But what's dope right. about yeah. the, what's dope about what he did because. And that's the thing with music NFTs is that people talk about utility, utility. Some people believe the music is the utility and some people would like to see more utility. But what he did for his album is like, you got the, like you bought the album for a low price, Mm -hmm. like, but he, he gives you a lot of, he airdrops a lot of art that goes along with it. So like, it's almost like the DLC concept. Like he was giving out his DLC for like, for free. Okay. Like and you could take it and mint it. You could take it and sell it if you want to. But because it's under his name, his floor value goes up. So he contracted oh, it that way, though. He yeah, contra- yeah. he left he, it open he, source that way. He contracted it that way. Like and this gotcha. there there is digital contracts like that. People. So he he got with some developers, some artists, like all of that, and he sold the album. So deep. Yeah, he sold yeah, the album. Yeah. But what he told people was like, what sold it for him was that. He was like, when you buy this album, you're gonna get a lot of like utility, yeah. like a lot of content with it. Just I'ma just airdrop it to you. So that's why that's what brought people in because they got all this other cool shit that went along with it. Mm, okay. But Domino, yeah, he's he was actually in Rolling Stone magazine for like the music NFT shit. So yeah, I've met some some pretty cool people and made some cool connections, man. But I got some um I got some plans, bro. I already know you do. Yeah, right? facts. Shoot. Been I'm ready facts. to see them. Like I said, I think it's cool. The arts, yeah. it, it makes it makes arts more universal because a Van Gogh is worth thirty million dollars. Mm. Straight up. Yeah. A, yeah. Like That's an artist, a painting is just worth what it's worth. Like visual arts are just like it's it's obvious. Or not just obvious, like but like to me that might not be worth shit. But to someone, some random rich, wealthy person, whatever the case, it's worth thirty million dollars. Right? right. It's like right. it's it's but, bringing a new 
Sorry, it's bringing back like a an artistry to being an That's artist. To the regular people, yeah, yeah, to yeah. the regular people. It, yeah. it gives us a little bit of control of the value of art of to art. us. Because, right. because hip-hop is more meaningful and it has more value to me and you guys than it does to some other wealthy person. Yeah. But it gives us a market to play in. Right. In that, right. yeah. Mm. Because we can't more enter, I can't enter the $30 million dollar Van Gogh market. Right, yeah, anybody yeah. else is sitting here that I'm I can more, tell, yeah, yeah, but yeah. yeah, so it's like it's something that we can all kind of, you know, I think that's really cool that it's 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 something that that is, fine. yeah, that it is, yeah, dope. man. Shit, man. Well, we I'm ready to see what else you do with it because I know this. Yeah, is just the I'm interested now. Yeah, this now is the tip I'm, of the I'm iceberg. Fascinated. So yeah, now that is. you yeah. just, you done beginning. officially got your yeah. feet wet. Right. So right. now it's like it's time to start <laughs> right. splashing yeah. around in there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I I like music. I really like music as an NFT. Like I, like I like music in that space way more than I like boring apes. Like boring apes, I can't yeah. justify it. Like yeah. I can't. I can't. Like I want. I want to be able. Like I understand the thing, the how it's funny. The like, projects is a JPEG. I would just, Sorry, it's a JPEG, yeah, but it's a JPEG. Playing. But no, I mean, I mean, everybody just stop. But it is. It's like profile pic. Oh, okay, okay. So like for for PFP projects, like I would just be in them joints just to flip them. Right, because right. like if you got in the board apes yeah. when it's, it was it's, like it's a money thing. if you got in the board apes when it was point one and now it's like ten Ethereum, you made a fucking bag. Yeah, you already yeah. you, you could have got yeah. in and got yeah. out and started. Some people want to be a part of the community, and now they actually have a a cryptocurrency for it mm. as well. So if you bought a board ape, you could get like whatever how much that that ape is worth. You could get like cryptocurrency off of it and like sell it you know what i'm saying yeah yeah so it's like board apes has gotten so big that now it has its own cryptocurrency it does, which is yeah. crazy mm. yeah. 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 Does. but you got to be in that in that community mm -hmm. right right yeah i mean i am excited to see what else you do with it man because yeah because not only is it always that's one thing that like i've never understood the demeanor of some people who like aren't allowed to or aren't able to like celebrate people around them like i genuinely have like a very like I'm very happy for you. Thanks, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm very, very happy for you, and like, because not in any, not in any way about what that could do for learning from you or anything yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. Just like a genuine happy place, and I'm very excited to see what you do with it. I appreciate it because man. it will teach a lot of people around you because you're a giving person. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Know what I'm saying, and I know yeah. that um, there's not a lot of people who move with that kind of genuine um feel anymore. And I'm a, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a real old school nigga. Like, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, like yeah. my parents had me when they was old. My pops had me when he was 42. My pops, my mom was 36 at the time. Yeah. Not old, but older. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm a real, like, old school talk on the phone. That's why my texting game is trash. Like, if you want to get to me, you call me. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, I'm yeah. one of them niggas. Or me in person. Or yeah. me in person. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm one of them niggas. So, like, I'm very happy that not only this is happening for you, but that you are the one doing this because it's going to give back to so many people. I don't think they even know it yet. Yeah, man. I mean, like, that's, again, that's one of my goals. Like, the, the fire shit about it is that, like, I've had so many people come along, like, that's a part of my team and help me, like, like from the niggas in Pelman Jr. to just my team that just, yeah. like, niggas is just saying, like, yo, I just want to help you win. Like, I that's believe right. in what you're doing. And then on top of that, these aren't just regular running the mill people. They're like excellent at what they do. Right. Like I don't know if I told y'all but um but Ty is my co executive like um creative director now. Like an assistant. Ty? Ty Oh really? Yeah. Oh no, you didn't tell us that. I didn't know that. Yeah, bro. Since hey, I ain't seen I haven't seen well, her from her in a while. How's yeah, she, doing? she part well, of the team now, man. Oh that's fire. Yeah, that's fire. Wait, so she is that recent? That's a like, really recent. recent. Wait, so what did she do for you? So she's like my co-creative director and like slash assistant, like just essentially like for everything Pat Jr. Like she kind of helps me oversee, like she gets my brand, she helps me like with rollout ideas, yeah, like yeah. just okay. you know what I'm saying, yeah, like yeah. marketing, like all of that stuff, and for like the Goldfang Society stuff. She did the logo for Goldfang Society too. Oh, fire! So, oh, that's dope. Yeah. yeah that's so dope. like she's just helping me with just division. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and everything yeah. I'm trying to do. So, yeah, but shout like, out to yeah, shout out, shout but out. But what I'm sure. trying to do is I'm trying to bring. Like one of my goals is like to use, so like for example, JP co-produced Beauty and the Tears. My homie Ro, he did the background vocals, and Brian like helped mix and master, master, right? Yeah. So like all of them niggas just did it for me because on the strength, on the strength. Yeah. But now with this music NFT shit, I could bust it down and be like, yo, 
here's Ethereum for you, for you, for you, for yeah. helping me out with this shit. That's cool. You see what I'm saying? You like what I and, and yeah. don't get me wrong, like my team, they them some of them have made some bank off of me like right. already, but now I'm really able to like give them more. Right. right. So like with Ty, one of my ideas is like she does the illustration shit. Like like when I do like, you know what I'm saying? Um, when I get my sound XYZ debut, she I'm gonna have her do the illustration for that. So then, then, yeah, then you can. So if I get so three thousand times two point five Ethereum, I mean, I mean, three thousand times two point five is like what nine thousand, yeah, close to it, yeah, about that. Or no, so. Nah, so it's not like that. Do three times. No, six, it's something. like seven five. Seventy five hundred. Sorry, yeah, seventy five hundred. About seventy five hundred. Yeah, right. seventy five hundred. So like, yeah. my brain is dead. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I it can, is seventy five. For her, I think it's seventy five. Yeah, for her doing the art off of that, like seventy five, I give her like five or ten percent. Off mm-hmm. of just, yeah, that's a nice little payday. Yeah, you see what I'm cool. saying? Like, yeah. but oh yeah, I, I know because that's what, what we that's what we do, AJ. Mm-hmm. Pretty much, nine yeah. percent off of seven, I eight bands. Do for like the people that yeah. I rob that that rob. Now you have another now. stream of income. That exactly, you can pay from. that's right. what artists do. Like you, so so we're just saying it opened up opens up a new avenue where people can commission arts. Just yeah. like they commission an artist, yeah. I want you to make this painting, and they will fund you. They will fund, they will give you all the resources that you need. But these are people that just been doing it just off the love. Then I could be like, all right. Y'all done, some of y'all done made some money. Now I'm finna really bring air, you know what I'm saying? Right. And so but now different, different type of bag in your Yeah, so right. now no, like cool. when it when I want when the time is right, probably later this summer at some point, I'ma revive that feels like video and I'ma mint that bitch. And when that joint sell, he gonna get some Ethereum off of it. Right, 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 right. You see what I'm saying? Right, right, That's right. fire. Or, That's what's up. Yeah, you invest in you invest that's in the fine. artists that actually yeah, right because he you, me and him even. we just worked me and Leon just worked off the strength but now oh, I yeah. can pay him for that feature. Can, that's right, fire, bro. Right, that's what's up, man. That's, that's really fire, cool. bro. See I, what I'm want, yeah, no, I, I want ninety like percent. Like by the way, huh? huh? <laughs> you say you, say, you want ninety percent? <laughs> what a number! What a number! <laughs> right. That's some sharky <laughs> shit right there. Since we're talking Ethereum, let me get twenty nine. It's like I'm gonna need ninety one percent. I'm gonna need ninety one percent. I know you already made a little bag for me. Let me just get twenty nine. <laughs> Yo, he said thanks, man. but please get out of my nah, way. Nah, right. that's fire though, because that's still one of my favorite records that um I've been yeah. a part of, man. Yeah. I have a few like um records I've been a part of that weren't mine that I'm like very happy about. That's one of them, and I, I'll talk about the others and yeah. another thing. But there's. There's that one, records. that one did good, but now see, it's a tool for now. I can bring it back up again. Yeah, facts, facts. You see what facts. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, and bring it back to light with more like eyes on it. Yeah, and everything. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I think yeah. it's a great record, man. Yeah, man. Shout I'm excited about that, man. I'm excited about it. Yeah. So that's, that's all I got for y'all this time around, man. On the NFTs. Like, yeah, man. NFT. We didn't. I mean, it was a wonderful what? combo, bro. I ain't gonna yeah, hold you, man. I right hardly use that word "wonderful," but it was wonderful. It's always a pleasure, though. It was enlightening. It was enlightening. Yeah, we are one forty-eight. 148. Um, I just want to, yeah, because uh, I don't want to extend it too long. Let's just do one of these. I'm thinking we do the. Uh, does anybody have a topic of the out of the? Oh, this oh shit, we ain't touched none of these. Did drinks, not bro. touch one topic. Yeah. Touch one nah, topic, bro. NFT, you ain't even I mean, NFTs, is good NFT episode. was solid, the topic. Man. That's solid. That's actually yeah. yeah. This is. I just want to talk about Jack Harlow getting a celebrity meal at KFC. <laughs> 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 because, I'm not, you know, like how sweetie. She did the McDonald's. She joint. had a McDonald's. Yeah, so Travis I'm not Scott really, had a McDonald's joint. Yeah, I'm not really worried about Jack Harlow's. I am dying to see. I want to know who ate Sweetie shit because her 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 meal at McDonald's. What was her meal? Bro, it was disgusting. Was it, it was like yeah, it was weird as shit. Hold on, bro. It was the Sweetie. It's always Jack Harlow did KFC though. Yeah, but that's, okay, that's ironic. But Jack no, Harlow, but, he, but he's from that. He's from that he, state. Yeah, he's from Kentucky. Uh, so still, it's, still, it's, and he, it's kind of yeah, ironic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, but he's Kentucky to the core. So uh, at, uh, at yeah. first I was like he would be doing chicken, but then I was like you know what? Let me chill. Fried I know chicken. I thought the same thing, he's and I was like Kentucky. oh Kentucky, yeah. And I, I've never not Kentucky. seen him yeah, rep his state. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it all makes sense. KFC is the wackest thing that came out of Kentucky. I'm sorry, KFC is so nasty. I call me. I say, look, that might be an I, unpopular I remember opinion. One time, one of my homies told me they stopped calling it Kentucky Fried Chicken and they just called it KFC because right. it wasn't really chicken. Mm. Oh shit! So that's the thing. You're right. the, I, I, I do remember them saying they dropped the name for some reason, but I don't know. Yeah, that hard. was it. They so was yeah, not really chicken. I'm what interested to see. What do we? always had the fattiest chicken, man. If you, if you pull the skin off, it'd be a whole okay, layer, bro. right? It'd be a whole layer of fat on that mug. Okay, bro. This is sweetie. So Jack Harlow's hasn't dropped yet, but it just okay. made me think of sweeties because. <laughs> yeah, fries can be more than just. Okay, bro. Look at this, bro. 
Jack I don't Harlow's eat McDonald's, a, but bro, it's a Big Mac mm-hmm. with no top bun. The French fries are the top bun, and okay. then there's ketchup. Okay. Oh, Wait, so you're supposed to put your hand on the ketchup? How do you eat that? Exactly. Yeah, how do you eat that? Exactly. How do you even eat that? Exactly. How does Saweetie eat that? Can I see then it? If a- I ate McDonald's, the only way I would eat that one is if they had the top bun on top of the fries. But there's no bun. Oh. That's fucking you're, stupid. Your oh. hands are coming in contact sorry, with, with sorry, ketchup. Yeah. That's ridiculous. I'm not sorry. It's dumb as shit. This to yourself. No, how do they wrap that up? <laughs> I, no, here's my thing. If it's not, if you don't eat it in the restaurant, how do they serve that to you? They're going to put so ketchup on top and then wrap it up? Yeah. Why would you put ketchup on chicken nuggets? How do they wrap that up? I don't know. It's nonsense. It's nonsense. Nonsense, this is bro. this is this is another one. It's French fries as the base layer. <laughs> so chicken, nasty, chicken nuggets on top of the French fries, <laughs> and then ketchup. See, she has a theme of putting sauce on the <laughs> on the very top <laughs> so that it makes contact with your hair. <laughs> which That's is the, crazy. Which is the problem that you I said, have with it? Oh, oh wait God. a minute, is that a burger with chicken? What? Every every everyone has ketchup Chicken smeared on nuggets. the top. No, but look in the bun. But look, the, but the bottom one with the burger. ketchup on top. That's nasty yeah. shit. But look, but look, the menu no. was curated by a toddler. That's the stupidest one. That's, That's what I'm saying. Of- <laughs> it's some shit like look. if you let a kid curate your menu. Exactly. But this, on top Come of that, on, man. The anything, only the only one that she could be have, a sandwich. The, the <laughs> only thing that, the only thing she doesn't have a condiment making contact with your hands. She got two meat patties as the bun. Like stop, chill. That's grease, and now grease. Now you yeah, got grease contact with this shit. Yeah. Bro, what? Who? I'm not a fucking mechanic. What nah, is this shit? Y'all remember the double down? Remember this the double down at KFC? AJ, AJ, this can't be the actual meals. These are like, this is what's saying that's in the meal. It's saying like, this is a part of the meal, right? <laughs> is that what they're saying? I don't, I don't know. I'm asking. Oh. They, no, they said this is how Sweetie does it. I remember when these were on the menu. So you got to go in there and harass the staff and be like, nah, I want it how Sweetie it's, does it. Bro, I'm, and on top of that, dog, bro. and on top of that, she also... Um, so is it an actual meal or is it just marketing? Hold on, let me see. Let me see. It has to be marketing, bro. Let Ain't no way you can eat it It's the two burger patties. Any, anything could be a sandwich. That's okay. not food. The yeah. bottom one, not food. That's not food. Which right. patties with fries? The two in it? patties so, with fries. You know what? You know what is That's crazy the bulk though. Of the meal. You know what's crazy, <laughs> and you know what's you know what's crazy. You know what's also sad is that I think that she also had success with this because mind you, they took her stuff off the menu. But have you all seen what McDonald's has now? McDonald's has these sandwiches now, and they're called like surfing something. Hold on. You talking about the hack menu or whatever they call it? The yeah, food ha- bro, that? it looks crazy, dog. Uh, See, I haven't been to McDonald's in like a long time. I've been there in years. It's been a minute for me too. They okay, bro, look. These are, these are, this toxic, is the new bro. Yeah. This is what McDonald's is doing right now. McDonald's got a burger patty on the top. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> you, you can get this right now. Oh at, yeah, at I McDonald's. saw that somewhere. Yeah, I did. You can get this right now at McDonald's. And what makes me believe they're doing this is because the sweetie thing must have been popular because this right. is the same bullshit. The only thing McDonald's did is actually gave you a bun. How do they charge you for that though, bro? When I looked at the meals, I was just, I was just at McDonald's like last nah, week, they, bro. These meals these are like these meals bad are like eleven ninety nine. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, really? these are expensive. These the meal is like over ten. Damn. Yeah. What is that? Is that a hash? Now, I, I would bang with no, that. No, that's no, probably good. Yeah, that one's that's probably, probably good. That yeah, probably good. Yeah. And this one's probably not bad either. Is even that chicken on the bottom? No, it's chicken nuggets on the bottom. Even though, though, even though I'm not pressed looking. on having chicken nuggets on my sandwich, but these, this is out of pocket. This is a cheeseburger. <laughs> fit with the with the the at the with the, No, it's pickles. With, pickles the, fit, with, the, with the fish fillet Bacon. sandwich, mm-hmm. tartar sauce, ketchup, another bun. There's fish in there? Yes. That's the, yeah, that's a fish, fish sandwich, bro. bro. That's the fish Same piece. This that's nasty shit, hot bro. mess right that's here, That's the one Pusha T just went off on. That one's got a chicken sandwich. That one looks like a Big Mac with a chicken patty on it. Wait, isn't it a big food safety thing to not be combining fish and chicken and beef and all this? Isn't that unsanitary? I'm sure it's fine. Oh God! As long as it's cooked, that can't but this be good. is crazy though. Oh, this that is what they call it. On IG stories, God, that's crazy, right? Yeah, oh, they man. they call it the surf and turf. That's the one that's got the burger patty, the fish sandwich, surf and turf, and then they got the land, sea, and air. What is it? A no lobster patty? So is the land, like- the land, sea, and air has got the. <laughs> 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 He had the man. nerve to call it surf and turf. <laughs> they had the nerve to call it surf and turf. Surf and turf. Bro, they got the nerve to call this like land sea and air. air Tilapia bro. ass hey, patty. Yo, that is hilarious. But there's no fish on it. It just looks like. T- oh, that is a. Is that no, a fish it's patty? Be some, no, it's some fish in there. Yeah, that's a fish patty. That looks like a chicken patty. Okay. How that's do you a chicken patty. How do so you bite that's that? That's a chicken patty with a burger patty. With pickles, lettuce, is that big tartar mac sauce in between? That's land. Big Mac sauce, but then under that, that's tartar sauce. 
And then that's another burger patty. The world's about to end, y'all. That's gluttony. <laughs> <laughs> that's toxic gluttony, That's bro. what I'm saying, bro. Like, you got to eat land, air, and bro, sea. I guarantee you, bro, if, if I ate McDonald's after not eating it for... Like some oh, years, your stomach is fucked, bro. My, 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 my fucking fucked. farts is gonna be like, yo, fucking like dog farts, you, like, huh, like dog farts. Worse than that, bro. No, uncontrollable. Gas, yeah, bro. untrustable. <laughs> yeah, untrustable. <laughs> like, yeah, like I, like I could fart into like one of them grenades and they can yeah, use yeah, that in yeah. war. <laughs> <and it's laughs> right, bro. Bio, biological, biological <laughs> rare, rare farts, bro. Crazy. Oh my god. So yeah, wow. I, so I'm interested to see Gas what Jack chamber. Harlow does. Now, what if Jack Harlow? Now I can I, tell you what his meal is. I know what his meal oh, is. Oh, they have it. I can it? tell you what his meal is. I, I read it. I read it. Really? Okay, yeah. It's go a ahead. What is it? Spicy chicken sandwich. It's the spicy uh, KFC chicken sandwich with some chicken tenders on look the at, side look at Jack. and some fries on this and like seasoned fries. And yeah, it's it's just a bunch of shit. It's just like you. It's just you go on the menu and you order several so different menus. Using items. one person. To to say order mad shit so we get more money off of you because this is what Jack Harlow would order if he came to KFC. If, yeah, if he came hey, go to back KFC. to that picture with him. That's with the whole his, idea with the suit posing. I, with, I can't posing help, with chicken. I can't help posing but, with chicken. But but okay, so that right there. You know, Billy I, Day, Billy D Ray did that a long time I ago. I can't what help but to feel like what if he, he, he's but, a Confederate right there. What if? I but know, what if, <laughs> I know the Colonel. Look with the Colonel all over oh, the fucking shit. I know. What if he's a Colonel outfit on though? That would be crazy. Well, you know they had that a whole campaign where it was mad celebrities wearing that right, shit. Right, right, right. That would be high level of What's like. The, what, what was the nigga's name? Um, off of um Django, the that Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, Candy. It was Candy Lynn. Calvin Candy. Oh no, no, no. no it man. was uh yeah, Jack Harlow yeah, yeah. and Calvin. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, Calvin yeah, yeah. Candy. Yeah, you that's how it feels when I look at that picture. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh yeah, make sure you vibes. update your Chrome, my G. That is Candy Lane. Exactly. Something about uh, oh, yeah, it does, be, yeah. Yeah. something about uh, what what is that about, Pat? That's come on, bro. He does have Calvin Candy vibes. Come on, bro. He does have Calvin Candy trip? vibes. He do yeah, got a little bit. Candy vibes. <laughs> a little bit, man. Hey, I'm just saying. I'm just make, saying. I'm, I'm gonna make that. The, hey, yo, Jack. Yo, man, I'm gonna make that Jack, the cover art for Calvin it, Candy. Jack, no disrespect, bro. You fire, bro. I'm just <laughs> saying, bro. This bro, K- KFC set you up for that one, man. They'll take it. Tell you about this one, huh? I'm bro, like. They set you up, my G. Okay, but get you, your get your back, get the bag. Like you know, we know you. This we right know here. you stand for the black community. You I saw your up. cipher for the you know the fresh McClash joint. Very fire, very snapped dope. On that shit. You snapped on it. We appreciate you. You know what I'm saying. We appreciate they, you, but they set you up for the okie doke. <laughs> they, they got you out here looking like Calvin. And Kennedy, he let him do it too. Because, I mean, my thing is, like, what, what black artist from Kentucky would have been like, yeah, KFC, what's up? I'm going to be real. I don't know any artist. I mean, if it Kentucky was. Until Jack Harlow. Bryson Tiller? Oh, yeah, that's right. But yeah. we, he You think he would have done KFC? Nah. I mean, I would I rather have a black artist do it than. Really? Than, yeah, man. I don't know I if I feel any about, better about that. No, I'm talking about Kentucky Fried Chicken. Like, or I think that was. Like, I think that was where he was. Be, a, I think that's exactly what he was supposed to do. Kareem did Bojangles. But she's in North Carolina. He's right. from Kentucky. Right. Yeah, it makes Kentucky mo- fine. Bryson <laughs> makes Tiller sense. too. But Bryson Tiller ain't as fa- as popular. He's as not Jack. as famous as yeah, Jack Harlow. Sure. Yeah. Bryson Tiller had a jam, but then Bryson Tiller was never pressed. He was he didn't even want us to know what he looked like. Facts. Yeah. Like he Facts. was he was never pressed yeah. on superstardom. You know what That's I'm saying? True. That's true. So I'm sure if he was, he would have had this op- op- opportunity possibly. Yeah, where is Cherry, man? I don't know. She's probably not coming though, because we would have heard from her by now. Yeah, that's a fact. Mm. Um, but uh, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, but okay, her, let's her, say her okay, let's say in, like in town, so. let's say um, let's say Bojangles approach you tomorrow. Would you do? Would you do a commercial with your face yeah. in it? You wouldn't. Yeah, I mean, what about Popeyes? I'm from, yeah, all right, what about Popeyes? Yeah, I'm from here. Yeah, I mean, yeah. well, Popeyes is like, Louisiana. That's why I say. That's True. why I say North. That's why definitely I say cookout, definitely cookout though, right? Actually, I feel like or cookout. Yeah, what about cookout? Sure. Cookout plug. Cookout would be fire. Do a cookout plug. Cookout is nasty. Whoa! I mean, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. I'm gonna take right. that out. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Edit, edit that out. Leave that in there, bro. Edit that out, bro. Leave that in there, Because in five there, years, bro. they might be like, we got half a million. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, and yeah. some royalties for you. Edit that out, bro. No. You wouldn't do a commercial. Love that cookout food. Mm-mm. You wouldn't do that shit, all, bro. Wait, what was your experience? What happened? I wouldn't. Happened I wouldn't work with McDonald's. Bro, I, I mean, wouldn't, work, just, I wouldn't work with McDonald's unless they bring the steak bagel back. Just, I wouldn't do it, McDonald's. It's the same period, thing. Like I, I would, stopped. If I they stopped bring that steak it, bagel back, I'm signing the dotted line. I stopped really? eating it for what? A while. I, bro, that is that is my favorite thing at McDonald's. I know what you're talking about. It's I know exactly amazing. what you're talking about. The steak bagel. They don't sell it no more. Yeah, motherfucking steak bagel. A steak breakfast bagel. Let me ask it. I stopped eating cookout for a while. Had it again. Fuck your stomach up. 
So something Toxic. happened. Toxic warfare. Got it. That's what it was. I mean, it's I'm greasy as hell. <laughs> oh, it's, it's like it's like pure grease. Yeah, straight up. Yeah. I started again like literally two weeks ago, no, and it's, yeah, I, 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 might, I might pull and up. And it's been I'm, heaven. Did you? Yeah, I've been I might pull it. up and do a, a milk. Well, what are you getting though? I'm getting the double I'm burger, double or the big Cajun double burger. burger, yep, or the I'm Cajun fillet yep. chicken. Was there alcohol in your system when you pulled up? No, I pulled up. But have you been eating clean though? No, I'm, I'm no. used to being fucked up. That's, that's what, what it I'm is. That's what I'm, that, <laughs> that's 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 what what I'm getting at. I'm about to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. that food tastes better when you're drunk. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> right. <laughs> like Taco Bell is way <laughs> better when you, that, got some, when you got some liquor <laughs> on the bottom of that. that's some real shit, though. <laughs> 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 bro, no, that's some You need the base level because otherwise you got to... You have three. You have home cooked meals for three days in a row. Nah, it's real shit. Your your stomach chemistry yeah. has changed. You eat some fast food again. A couple room. weeks. Couple weeks. Not even a couple weeks. weeks. I think one solid week. week your me. stomach chemistry, where if you try to flip back to a double cheeseburger, is lit. Yeah, I just started unless, cooking again last night. You go so we gonna find out. I just started cooking it last night. Where they sell you like find top tier. We'll find out. Like oh, burgers. of course. Like if I yeah. go to Chipotle, I'm not having no issues. Sure. If I go somewhere, well, black beans, or if I get the right thing when I go there, like if I get the grilled chicken. With the salad. No, 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 you can go. What's that play? Red Robin. Like you go to Red Robin, or there's a, another place where they make like prime, like burgers or whatever. You can eat that and be okay. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, it's like it's, it's not. That's a real oh, burger. Yeah, yeah, what yeah, about yeah, Chick Fil A yeah. though? That's still dirty, right? Chick Fil A got Bro, a little bit. I had. Chick- but I be getting I had the grilled Chick- sandwich there though. I be getting the grilled. I had oh, Chick Fil A recently, man. and I hadn't had it in a while. Man, that shit put me to sleep, nigga. Mm. It knocked mm. you out. Yeah, mm. bro. Like, you know they marinate their chicken in pickle juice. That's their secret recipe. I didn't know that. Really? Yeah, I hope I didn't just out them. <laughs> it's all right. Cut the check. And but think about it. But think about it, though. Like, next time you taste like, that's why, that's why all they put is pickles, because it's literally just marinated in pickle juice. That's mm. their they, they secret ingredient. Okay. I don't think they care, because who's going to stop going? You Nobody. know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, no, yeah they got a cult following. They good. Yeah. You kidding me? Um, what are the topics we got? It's a bunch of other ones. I just don't want to make it too long, though. Yeah, no, I feel that. Especially because I got I still got to get some shit. I don't want to get something to eat. So yeah, let's just wrap it up. I just wanted to talk about some food shit. We can bring we can bring some of these topics back next week if they're not too outdated. That's true. Um, yeah, so we'll do that. But yeah, yo, yo, make sure y'all like, comment, share, subscribe, everything to Three Oak Podcast. Um, Pat, tell them tell everybody where they can find you. Oh, uh, my bad. Um, I am Pat Junior dot com. Spell Junior out. Uh, it's my yeah J U N I O R. Uh, Spell Junior. Uh, Twitter, I am Pat Junior. Instagram, same thing. If you got some ETH, you know what I mean. You can you can buy a Pat Junior NFT because oh god, you know what I'm saying the price is gonna go up soon. You know, just just count on that. You know, so but uh yeah, stop Facebook. putting out that top tier mid. Yeah, stop putting out <laughs> top tier mid and go listen to Go Fangs on Sunday first, and then listen to Go Fangs on Sunday reprise. It can be found. Everywhere you stream your music, so. Pat finna raise the standards on this shit. Right, facts. I fuck bro, I'm trying to, man. I like that. Yeah, it, it's a lot of it's a lot of uh, most artists right now. Web three only do Web three, one or the other. Web three or Web two, but I'm I'm doing both, man. Because um, that's that's what we do out here. You know, what that, there's not too many of us. I'm trying to I'm trying to do both. So attack. Got to, bro. So, yeah. Yeah, man. yeah. All right, well, all right. Yeah, y'all. I'm going to holla at y'all. Um, we'll be back next week. Uh, Cherry. Hof- hopefully. Yeah. Oh. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was about to say. I was like, yeah, I'll see you next time. Oh, you're not here. <laughs> right, right. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, we'll get it cracking. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Everything to 3 Podcast. Peace.